The Kashgarian desert has swallowed you whole. Since fleeing Fort Valandor with your lives and little more, you've headed back south, first to the tiefling fortress of Whitethorn, to discover it's still abandoned, and then following whatever trails you can to make your way deeper into the desert in search of those tieflings you helped in the hope that they will offer the same assistance to you. Hagen Quell has taken his leave from your group. His encounter with the strange assassin, Yandara, who pushed Isoldia to her death, raised numerous questions for him. And he has gone to seek answers, promising to return to you as soon as he can. Get well soon, Grendy. The rest of you then have pressed ever southward into the dunes, the sky, a brutal beaten copper furnace above you, the rising and falling undulating dunes more wearying than you had possibly hoped or even expected. Here and there, Tales of tieflings clustering in the desert. Suggestions of a hidden fortress to which they have retreated. And this you now seek. Sergeant Daco, leading the four remaining Valandor troops. but you trudge wearily, step after step, mile after mile, day after day, the sun hammering down upon you, sweat caked at your brow, breath thick in parched mouths. And it is on the fourth day that the sand lion attacks you. Roll for initiative, please. Jesus! <laughs> you don't know your power. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Oops. What's a sand lion? <laughs> What's a sand lion? Oh, well, funny you should ask. <laughs> that's a, that's well, I mean, a I can counter. guess, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sand lion. <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. That really is not a lion. lion. And it's not made of sand. Um, oh, shit. It's not, it's not made of sand and it's not a lion. No, no. no. But it's, and it's about the size of an elephant. It heaves up out of the side what? of a dune. The sand spilling off it like water from a hulk rising out of the deep. Opens its immense mandibles and lunges. Insensate hunger in its bestial eyes. Aldrich, what was your initiative roll? Uh, it was a seven. A seven. Bellis. Three. Oh, good. Sh I mean, oh, bad. Oh, sorry. Shanta. Two. Two. So not appearing. Uh, Jadarian. Seven. Seven. And Abel. Two. Okay. What cost? Oh, dear. All right. Uh, Aldrich and Jadarian, uh, Elf Pants, you are far quicker than Mr. Pointy Stick, so you go first. <laughs> As I say, erupted out the side of a dune and is clackering over the sand towards you, mandibles snapping in hungry anticipation of your soft and tender flesh. Jesus! Mm. Right, okay, um, well, I'm going to move <laughs> away that, from was the Was that Quenian? I don't... I don't yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a new form. <laughs> uh, I move 30 <laughs> foot away from the group to try and lure it, maybe, I don't know. And shoot it twice as I haven't got okay. uh, an arrow. It's on the class 18. Jesus. Well, that was an 18 and a 16, so they're both going to be hits. Uh, I'll take it it's close to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> 9 and 7, 16 damage. 16. Okay. All right, the arrows puncture its thick carapace, carapace with uh, satisfactory meaty crunches. 
Aldrick. Uh, is you it back, close to you us? back away of the sand. Well, it seems to be lunging straight towards Jadarian because he's the one who's stuck it with his. Okay, I'm going to uh, use. I'm going to use the distraction and uh, try and uh, get it uh, from the flank. Okay. And I avoid that nasty-looking tail. <clears throat> <laughs> and in fact, I think I'll keep a perfect parry in reserve just in case. <laughs> oh dear. And I uh, hit it with a 23 to hit, and that's a, a 14 damage. Okay, you know, subjecting the thing to a brutal pummeling, it spins 180 on the spot. Oh, the mandibles close down around Aldrich's middle and pick him up. You can hear his armor oh. creaking under the strain, and then there's a solid as the mandibles go through the armor. Can I, can I? Aldrich, uh, you take 11 points of damage. Bye, Aldrich. I had a perfect parry, but that's okay. (laughs) You managed to parry its uh, (laughs) snapping claws. Oh, that's a natural 20. Um, The tail spins and closes neatly. Around uh, Jadarian. What? The thing is immense. You back away, it spins. I did Delphi move 30 feet away from the group, just so you know. Yeah. The thing's the size of an elephant, if you recall. Um, uh-huh. Quit your complaining and take four points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had someone that could backstab. <laughs> oh. Well, we're just going to have to front stab this time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oops, in I the, cast the Fresh Stab. Uh, <laughs> the attack is taking place and costs a sanctuary while it's doing so. Okay, the Ghost Mother's influence reaches across the plains and surrounds you, cocooning you from the dangers of the battle. Oh, great, Bellis, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Avil then Shanta. Um, okay, um, can I use my chromatic orb on the... Uh, Go ahead. Roll to hit. AC 18. Okay. Can you hit the broad side of a barn? Uh, two. <laughs> that's not Did even a. It? That's not even its arm. I know. You <laughs> yeah. stumble back as your foot slides in the dune and the crack. You hit roll. the sand. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> somewhere out the of sight. Is no. <laughs> you, you can Shut hear up. it hissing, hissing in the sand some short distance away. Shanta. Um, I am going to. Can I use blindness on this thing? Yeah, absolutely. It's got a bunch of little eyes there, so... I want to blind them all. He gets to make a saving throw, and it rolls... That's cocked. It rolls a 10, which for a six hit dice creature against spells is going to be a fail. Yes. Um, Yes. There's a pale sheen goes over the creature's eyes. It drops Aldrich and drops Jadarian from its claws and tail and starts snapping wildly about it with its claws, mandibles closing <laughs> emptily on the air. Uh, Jadarian, uh, Aldrich, you're next. I cool. move 30 foot away from it and then shoot it twice. Come on. That's a 10 and an 8, so that's an 18 and a 20. And the damage is 22. Okay. All right. The arrows just punch right through the thing's crab-like shell. You can't even see them anymore. They've sunk out of sight inside. Aldric? I'm going to f- do a front stab. Ha-ha. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sa- I have three, three, three attacks, so I'm going to save one for a perfect parry. Yeah. Um, so the two attacks. The first one is a modified um, 25 to hit and does uh, 14 damage and the half strike is a modified 28 to hit what and <laughs> i'm not kidding <laughs> and and it does uh 11 points of damage you lunge forward massive crunch from uh stab it right in the feely bits Okay, right, yes, it's feely bits burst, spattering you with a pale fluid that tastes 
vaguely of uh, slightly sour peppermint. Um, and then its claws and mandibles just flail wildly in your direction. I'll try and parry the the, the most um, painful looking ones. The giant bitey parts. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, even despite its blindness, bloody hell, um, the claws nevertheless get past your guard. You protect yourself from the bite. You take another six damage. And like it's, it's, it's literally completely by accident. One claw catches you under the chin, the other swipes your legs out from underneath you. Uh, six damage. Well, behind six damage it. First. Bloody hell. Avil, you take eight damage from the tail, which just seems to come completely what? out of nowhere. Whoa, okay. I mean, eight, did you say? Yeah, eight. Put you on 15. Oh, Lord in heaven. All right. Uh, okay, Bellis, Shanta, and Avil, you're up next. Our, our, um, uh, Jadarian is also wounded? Jadarian is also wounded, yes. Uh, uh, I've only lost four. Just, just, uh, just as a wounded. point. Also, yeah. And, uh, and Aldric. Are they clumped up in a little bit of a cluster? Within no, they're not. Um, Aldric is kind of at the front. Uh, Avel's at the back. Jadarian's pulled himself away. I should point out, by the way, that your <laughs> men, Aldric, they're not getting you in near this thing. Unless you specifically order them to. Um, Judging right what now, you've seen, I'm, it would probably bite them in half. But anyway, uh, yes. Bellis, what are you doing? Um, um, I'm going to try and position me, myself in between everybody and uh, I call out for them to group closer to me. Okay, uh, the range on I'm this is- I'm a little busy here! <laughs> <laughs> Should, Should I the invite range? the monster? What, what's the range on this? What? 20 feet. 20 feet, okay, all right. So no, you couldn't even get two of them uh, uh, at present. Uh, okay, um, Avel then Shanta. Okay, um, I'm gonna take my crossbow and take a shot at uh, the uh, the head or I don't know the head area. Yeah. This um wonderful what what did you call it sand lion? Sand lion, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Whoever named that is blind. Nineteen. Um. So that is. D eight plus one. Yep. Yeah, six. Okay. Um. Again, the crossbow just kind of <laughs> goes right through its armor. You think the thing's beginning to slow down, although it's hard to tell. Um, it's like someone has stabbed a crab with a red-hot needle, frantically flailing, snapping, claws going this way, mandibles that, the tail wickering around behind it. Shanta, finally. I'm going to try and hit it with my staff sling. Just a nat 20! Whoa! <laughs> oh, out of nowhere. Is, so is that max damage? Yeah. Yes. yes, it is. And is it a large creature? It is a large creature. That's seven damage. Wow. All right, the star sling <laughs> flies forward, hits the thing smack in the middle of the forehead. Uh, it quivers once, rolls onto its back, and then its legs crunch up around it. What? You yeah. killed it. <laughs> oh, hell, I, did I, I did it. It's lying. Kill it again. <laughs> Can I lob a rock at it, just to be sure? Yeah, one of its legs twitches spasmodically. Is... I, I spit blood onto the sand. <laughs> uh, Chance will Very good! Chance will run over to Aldrich and pump some cure wounds. Ah, oh, it's you well again. done! That was most impressive. Oh god, it's him again. <laughs> You're There's a hard a... man to find. Figure atop a nearby dune. Watching, there's a, a him and four other tieflings appear to have just been spectating. Tricky buggers, aren't they? It is, of course, Tarvo Fleet. Uh, what healing was that, uh, Shanta? Uh, seven HP. Okay, twenty-four, Aldric. Nice, thank you. Um, a good shot, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Better than the well. Blushes. Anybody else wounded? Me. Uh, I've lost four hit points. Aldric's ten <laughs> down. Jadarian's lost four. Avil's eight down. Finally gather up then, please. We'll gather up, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sheesh. I know I'm small, but I really shouldn't we have to raise my voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? He concentrates, holds up her uh, her holy symbol, and calls forth the power of uh, the Ghost Mother. There is a pulse of pale white light 
starts with Bellis and then <laughs> expands out around her. For how much? Sixteen points of damage. Uh, off. Sixteen. Yeah. Chant, is, Chant is dead. <laughs> so that heals everybody. <laughs> wow. What was that? Well done. <laughs> I've never seen you do that before. Uh, I, I Mother Delora has been teaching you things. Yes. Thank you, Bellis. If you could just move your mic a little bit closer, Bellis, that would be great. <laughs> <clears throat> Much better. She may be small, but she doesn't have to raise her voice. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> Tavo uh, uh, saunters down the dunes toward you. I'm looking at sizing the creature. Can they be eaten? Well, everything can be eaten. Oh, does it taste Is good? it tasty? No. Oh. <laughs> Tastes like a bucket of wet shit, but, you know. <laughs> Why didn't you help let's, us? Let's... You look like you were having so much fun. I didn't want to ruin your your game. I didn't know it was a game. I'm sorry. Um, is there anything interesting on this uh, creature that we can uh, or should take along? Well, if you have an armor of any decent skill, those um, belly plates can make a passable shield. And I've heard that some of the uh, tiefling tribesmen of the deep desert know how to make daggers out of the mandibles but um i could skin I prefer, it i prefer to buy mine yes you could skin it i'll just sit down here with my friends then we've brought along a little bit of grog we'll have ourselves a wee drink while you butcher the uh the the giant um sand beastie shall we yeah sure sure good and uh, him and his mates do so i i join tarvo <laughs> can i have a no. swig of that <laughs> yeah daggers looking rather pleadingly at you um so, <laughs> all right, come on, join us. So while the others uh, butcher the sand lion for parts, uh, you squat yourselves on the side of the dune in the shade of the afternoon sun. How have you been? Oh, very good, thanks to you. You allowed us to escape those um, friends of yours and their big winged lizards. So we've been, not been doing very badly. It's funny you should mention that. Um, <laughs> You've not brought them with you, have you? No, no, we didn't bring them with us. We ran oh, away from them. Good. Oh, well, yes. That's, uh, you're getting quite used to it, I should imagine, by now. <laughs> yes. Um, see, they, um, they attacked our castle. And now... Uh, he looks around at your group. This is all that's it, left. This is all that's left of you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they outnumbered us five to one, and they uh, summoned some demons. Oh, yeah, and then there's that. Mm. They use the eye of Kalax to get a demon. Oh, they've got one as well, do they? Oh yes. I much preferred it when these things were considered rare and dangerous artifacts. Not oh yes, we've got one of those too, didn't you know? And they're gonna come after your ones. Yeah. Uh, I haven't admitted to having one. You're the ones who kept asking me what it was, and I didn't actually say that I had one. We were told you had one. You'd hit it. There are more people who think that you have one, at least. Mm. They'll come for yes, you. Yes, well, I mean, that's all. That's, that's as well as maybe, but... Um... Mm -hmm. We're just saying that eventually somebody might come looking this way. Other than us, I mean. That's not that not we want your news. eye. And more death would willing to blind our friend for a little bit of information that I think they already knew. Yes, well, you uh, Imperials are all the same in that regard. I'd like to think I'm not the same. Yes, I know. I've heard this argument before, and I found it somewhat convincing myself when you put yourselves in the line of fire between those Mordath Wyverns and our flight from Whitethorn. So, so here... Um, how, 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 are you, how are you guys doing out here in the desert all by yourselves? Have you oh, managed yes. to find shelter? We saw some tracks going round and round and round in circles and thought we'd investigate where they were. Right, yes. Well, that would have been so, us. Yes. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Looking for you. Well, we followed your tracks from Whitethorn. 
Hmm. We might have taken a few detours along the way, not intentional ones. Um, but we seem to have found you, or rather, you seem to have found us. Um, Very well. Very well. I think you've earned some hospitality, if nothing more than that. Come. Thank you. Follow me. Are you guys done yet, butchering that thing? Aye, so. nearly. Yeah. What is that smell? Uh, that's Jay Darian. Ah, uh, you beat me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it all over me too. <laughs> <laughs> that's just you spilling your drink. Uh, <laughs> Chanta will cast a change to make them nice, clean clothes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so much better. Now all I need to do is get these holes out of my armor, but that's okay. Can I change armor? Uh, no. No. Mm, you'll not be able to, to repair it now. Uh, no, I need a smith. Yeah. Or I can do it for you. Oh, yeah, you have that that cool spell, don't you? Mm -hmm. Does mending work? It worked for his ransom. Oh, nice. Very well. well lead Time the way, uh, Carol. And sorry again if that was your pet. I didn't know it was a game. <laughs> it's no pet of mine. Oh. Come on, Shanta. Okay. Uh, all right, man. Uh, Time to pick get up, a move on. Pick up the pieces. Yeah. I make sure that I use an orison to uh, preserve them. Yes. You uh, apportion them out between your backpacks and then allow Tavo to lead you across the dunes, through the canyons, and to the hidden fortress of Kalfada. Nestle. surprises. In the craggy right. badlands of the central Kashagreen Desert, it's not hard to see where the tieflings of Whitethorn fled to. This small outpost is home to hundreds of them. The tieflings of Whitethorn have joined fellows of theirs from other settlements. And perhaps not for the first time, you get the impression that you have sorely underestimated the numbers of tieflings who survived the years of the Crusade of Tears. This is not some scattering of nomads. This is a stronghold of a thriving desert society. Wow, it's really beautiful. Well, thank you, Lassie. I think you'll find yourselves quite welcome here. People have not forgotten what you did for us. It's Chanter. <laughs> not that assy. Hi. He's uh, not exaggerating. As you make your way up from the desert floor toward the rocky outcrop that is home to Kalfara, you see admiring faces and expressions of recognition turned your way. People right. pointing your direction, whispering behind their hands. You hear the name Valandor. And perhaps the first time, it falls not with despite from a tiefling's lips, but with something approaching admiration. And your own names too, Bellis, Abel. That one's Jadarian. Shanter of the House of Flair. A small group of kids come running out of a, what could be a, a schoolyard. Cluster around you. Eyes wide, mouths open in smiles. Just hands reaching out just to touch your robes. One of them offers you a half-eaten apple, Eldrick. Oh, thank you, child. I've I've eaten already. <laughs> he spoke to me. 
<laughs> and then the giggles burst with the group and they just run off shrieking down the street. <laughs> if you've finished enjoying your celebrity status. I didn't realize we were. They all are really friendly here. Tavra stops. And the customary glint in his eyes fades for a moment. You saved our lives. We'd have put up a good fight. But the Mordath troops and their wyverns would have killed us all. You saved ours also. Don't be giving up your bargaining chip so quickly, my friend. Come on, this way. I'm sure Valto will be looking forward to seeing you again. Word will already have gone ahead that you're here. Yes, yes, let's... Uh, let's However, go. it's as he's uh, leading you up to one of the higher levels of the settlement on the outcrop that you pass by what must be a holding pen of some kind. And Shanta slumped in it in a cage made from thick wooden bars lashed together with rawhide, hands resting on his knees, head slumped. It's Erdo Fade. Chant is going to run over. Despite his imprisonment, his hair still looks fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Chant is just going to take a beeline straight towards him. Um, okay. Erdo, it's you. you. You made it. There's a couple of burly tiefling guards step forward as you approach the cage. Oh, hi. Sorry. Far enough. Erdo looks up and stands. You're alive! So are you. <laughs> How did you get here? I came here seeking refuge. How did you come here? Uh, kind of the same. We we had some trouble and there was these, uh, these big wyverns and then they attacked and then... Um, All right, that's enough. The guard pushes, like, puts a hand on your shoulder and firmly pushes you back. There's no speaking to the prisoner. He's not a prisoner, he's my friend. Your friend he may be. Prisoner he is, at least until his trial. Wait, are these with you? Um, that's my intention, Tavro says. Shanta, come on there, lassie. Leave him be. What, you don't do him any good that way. What did he do wrong? Well, what, what did he do? <sighs> come on. I'll explain it out. Uh... Don't worry, Erdo, I'll come back. Erdo's just the lot you... As you walk along with Tybo, you can just see him holding onto the bars. As we're walking... Staring after you in consternation. As we're walking, can I get uh, just... You, you, I guess it's not danger sense, but using that particular set of skills, can I just get an idea of the, the, the martial strength of this fort and how many soldiers they might have? <sighs> They're not uh, making a big show of it, mm -hmm. but you spot guard posts here and there. A couple of barracks. You think Calfaro six or seven hundred armed men here? Possibly more if they have uh, caves below. Right. Certainly enough to defend the place. Cool. Tarvo, anyway, finishes leading you up toward uh, a small domed building atop the outcrop. You didn't even need to go inside. Hobbling on his staff, he comes out into the courtyard to greet you. Blind eyes, not seeing you, 
but some unerring sense, making sure that he looks right at you when he speaks. Valto Cray, the leader of Whitethorn, and from his position, an authority figure here too. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. You found us. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, um, Tarvo found us wandering in circles. Tarvo, make sure there's accommodation ready for our friends. And see what victuals can be acquired from them from the stores. Absolutely. Make yourselves comfortable. You're among friends now, Tarvo says. Thank you. I don't want to be in any trouble, but would my friend be able to get some accommodation? He looks toward, Tarvo looks toward uh, Valto. She is talking about Erdu. I see. Well, he has accommodation at the moment, but I'm assuming you mean freedom. Yeah, I don't know why he's been locked up. Come inside and get out of the sun. Uh, I follow him. I follow. Why won't anyone just tell me? He sits himself down on a low stone bench just inside the door. You can see he's got a pitcher of water and some bread next to him. The rest of the room is similarly spartanly furnished. You recall his quarters at uh, Whitethorn, likewise, just a bare rug on the floor. An oil lamp in the corner. Make yourselves as comfortable as you can. Your friend Erdo, he needs to answer for what happened. It was clear to us that either you knew nothing or proved your good character for what you with what you did at Whitefawn. Erdo Fade and Targon. Well, it's not the same for them, is it? They weren't just naive apprentices. Targon was the personal bodyguard of Tasker Glimmer. Erdo manned the storeroom, through which, by all accounts, the Mordath troops gained access to the fortress. They have questions to answer. Where, where's Targon? The Trollborn, cooling his heels out of sight in a room with walls of stone when a wooden cage proved unable to hold him. Oh, he survived also. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm surprised he survived. Trollborn are hard to kill. I've seen them with spears run right through them, keep fighting. From what mm. I understand, he was left for dead. A common mistake. Well, the one who betrayed them, we killed. And why would they attack him if he was on their side? He fought and, bravely, uh, that Trollborn. Oh, yes. Yes, he did. He, he actually helped us get out. And then Erdo, we found the tunnel, but he didn't know it was there. He was just as surprised as I was. And Erdo, let's be honest, is probably not the bravest sword, is he? You'd be willing to give testimony in this regard, would you? Yes. I I was with him when, when it happened. He's mm. a good friend of mine. I, I don't think he'd be behind such a thing. Well, we've been hearing some unsettling rumours coming out of the north. We have, uh, shall we say, representatives among the human provinces. And we've been hearing some very unnerving accusations about Highthorn, about what was really going on there about Task of Glimmer and the Eye and what Zura Hallow really wanted, what Mordath really wants. 
So someone like Erdo, someone like Targon, someone as highly placed as Targon, you must understand we have questions for them and about them. Well, Tasker was just doing what we all did. We, we just took care of the eye and didn't do anything. It, it was Zura who, who tried to give it to Mordath and then that's when I think she made the attack happen. <sighs> well, what you're saying that? is there, there could have been more involved, Chancellor. It is true. Do you have any magics uh, at your disposal to dis uh, ascertain whether that truth is being spoken? I am no diviner. Mm -hmm. Apportation and transport is my speciality, which is what allowed me to save my people from the attack on Whitethorn. Mm -hmm. What have you heard? That there's truth to this rumor that all Mordath wants is to destroy the eyes? It seems remarkably altruistic to me. It I'd say that the truth lies in the fact that Mordath it was split in its intentions. Lord Ruthic was intent on destroying the eyes, but his daughter Santara not. His daughter was influenced by the demon himself. I think so this maybe she would. A little bit deep in the eye, yes. Mm. The reason we sit here now is because she attacked the castle while her father was at uh, Fort Valandor negotiating a an alliance with us to help destroy the eyes. I recall you speaking of this alliance when you were with us before, yes. Saltara, maddened by the eye itself, summoned a demon to help attack to help attack the, the, the castle and, uh, I believe, killed her own father in the battle. Ruthic is dead. Yes. Yes. Well, as far well, we as think what we think he's As far as we know, him. yes. We saw him fall into a crowd of men raising and lowering their weapons violently, so I would suggest that he was probably killed. Never... Never a good sign, that is it. Now, My mother is also killed. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry. That is a terrible loss. Thank you. We know nothing about your brother either, you. Oh, yes. My dear brother. <laughs> For all I know, he's hiding in the catacombs. Sorry I had to remind you. Yeah. You may consider yourselves our guests here for as long as you have need of it. Thank you. Ballandor has never been a friend to the tieflings. But what you did on your last visit, that is worth a very great deal. Can I ask you? Yes. What are your intentions regarding the eyes? We aim to destroy them. Is that so? We have already destroyed one. You have, have you? How did you accomplish that? I, we took I it to the dead. That only... To... Answer, please. We took it to the dead forest where the dragon Vorum Cathriax destro destroyed it for us. Vorum Cathriax lives. Well, Lives is... Perhaps the wrong term. In a manner of speaking, yeah. The only way he would destroy the eye for us is if we promised we'd kill him afterwards. He is undead, as far as I know. And bound there. Would he be able to destroy another? Yes. I'd say so. Assuming he agreed to it, of course. I've brought the food. Tyler appears. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you've got the food. Timing. Hmm. He wants Fantastic. to know where you've put the eye. I, I've not ever ad admitted that I... Oh. 
It really is the worst kept secret. <sighs> Mordoth knew about it. Really? That's not very encouraging. Yeah. Oh, by the eleven gods and their dirty little bollocks. Why? You, you think you can destroy it? Only a dragon can destroy an Eye of Kalex, and I don't suppose you know very many of those. Actually, as it happens, we do. We do. Oh. Okay. I wouldn't say we were friends. We made a deal with him. Him. I say him. I don't even know if it has a gender. Tavo. The time has come. You've kept this secret for long enough. Tavo regards you all, and again, that impish gleam is gone from his eye. Aye, very well. It's in the pyramid of Viridian Flame. Pyramid the God's the God's mouth hallows. Yes, Pharaoh says. The God's mouth. What is that? That's ominous. You ever heard from it? Heard of it? No. In fact, I'm not sure any of you have heard of it. It was a center of worship before the time of the Crusade of Tears, a great pyramid, the builders of which, they say, chained a god underneath it, lying on his back, and they built it over his open mouth. And his breath rises up and fills the pyramid with all sorts of holy and spiritual energies. It was abandoned around the time of the Crusade of Tears. Its upper levels are inaccessible. There's a secret door somewhere. There's a balcony way up top, but the doors that uh, seal off the interior are made of some unearthly metal, and no one's ever been able to get through them. But there's apparently a hidden way within. The lower level is still used. Um, at least it was in my father's time. They buried the dead there. Mm. What's it used by now? It's a mausoleum. It's a, used as a cemetery. And you know, I've heard that the last people of House Flair were buried there too. At any rate, I managed to. Um, Charm is a strong word, but I managed to convince one of its guardians to take the eye and hide it deep, deep within the pyramid. Or high, high within the pyramid, I suppose. What kind of guardians does the, the pyramid have? Well, all sorts of things. Um, undead priests, strange other planar beasties, the usual. I figured it was a nice, unsafe place to put something I didn't want anybody getting. Okay. There's like a um, central, I suppose, chimney up which the god's breath goes, and uh, it kills anybody it comes into contact with, and also uh, negates all magic too. So um, I asked the uh, I asked the guardian to put the eye right at the top above it. So now you know. Well. Is there a way for this guardian to retrieve it for you again, if she, if you ask nicely? It didn't come back. And I'm certainly, certainly not going there again. He looks down at, uh, at Valter. You might be able to persuade me to open my big flappy mouth, but you're not going to send me into that horrible, horrible place a second time. Charm person. 
But if uh, if the rest of you wish to um, risk your your skins and your fine floppy hats, uh, go ahead. What? Uh, who was the guardian guardian you entrusted the the eye with? It was one of the priests. <laughs> one of the undead priests. I'm not entirely sure he was alive. Yes. Right. Um, How far is this place? A day's travel from here. The other side of the canyons and out onto the sands. I'll take you within sight of the place, but I'll go no closer. Um, Let's rest up and prepare properly. Okay. May I ask, did you say that the, the last flares were there? Uh, so I've heard, yes. But I'm here. Well, then I would guess they were the last flares before you. Your parents, maybe, Shanta. Did you not know your parents? <coughs> Excuse me. No. I don't really remember anything before the circle. Did they find you as a child? I don't remember. But they, n- they never told you? I was there and Tasker took care of me. Such an inquisitive mind and he never asked about your true heritage. I'm impressed. I didn't really think anything of it. I don't really remember. <laughs> Are you interested in finding out more about your family, or...? I hope they're not there. I hope so, too. Um, may I be shown to my chambers, please? Tavo. Show the guests the summer where they can dust the sand out of their eyes. When you are ready to speak on Odo and Targon's behalf. When is a trial? Tomorrow. But I will be honest. If you have compelling testimony There's no need to press charges if those charges themselves are unfounded. But Um, I will place no such burdens on you now. uh, No, I I would like to do that. That takes priority for me. Or Chanter says. I know much much for the the other tiefling, but that Trollborn, he fought with his life. Well, thankfully not. I fought side by side with the Trollborn. Didn't you fight with... uh... The tiefling, Avel. Oh, he hid. No, I... I did indeed fight alongside him, you could say. Well, wasn't you more so in front of him? No. Semantics. Any of your magics that can help with this, Bellis? No. Not really. So you believe that Erdo Fade is innocent of any collusion with Mordath forces? Uh, when the when the 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 attack came, you guys found the entrance, didn't you? From that yes. downstairs in the in the in the well, Avel did, and Charter. Yeah. Yes, it was a tunnel in the uh, storeroom, I do believe. Can you recall his reaction to when you found it, or, or the circumstances? He didn't not know it was there. It seemed quite It was sharp. new to him. If I may, 
before I do my testimony, would I be able to speak privately with Erdo? And when I do, I'll be able to find out for certain. That's asking a lot. I think for your testimony to be believable, it's probably better if you don't talk to him. I just thought if I tried to charm him, he would have to tell me the truth. She's got a good point. We've seen her magic. I Hmm. trusted Zura at some point. Interesting approach. Do you corroborate what your tiefling friend says, Avon? That this Erdo Fade was or seemed unaware of the invasion? Well, from my perspective, it certainly seemed that way. When we came across the entrance that the attackers used to get into the castle, he seemed as surprised as us, but, well... I don't know how good of an actor he really might be. I see. But, um, yeah, that, that of course stands to reason, but he probably would have tried to lead you away from it had he been in on that uh, particular entrance. Well, he didn't seem very concerned with us. I mean, first sign of trouble, he was running away. Yeah, he didn't strike me as the bravest of her. No, out for himself, I'd say. But that doesn't make him uh, in collusion. I was about to say the same thing. Bravery doesn't. I'm not saying he was in collusion. No. Mm -hmm. I agree with Chant. I think we should charm him. It's not a bad approach, actually. You see what she did to that other guard. Yeah. What about the trollborn? I think the same for him as well. If he, yeah. if he truly wants to be found innocent. I mean, I will testify to his his defense of the of 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 the tower. I fought next to him. I agree. <clears throat> he took several swords to the belly for for his efforts too. So. And he killed many Mordaf people trying to defend the place. Yes. In and fact, if it hadn't been for his sacrifice, I probably wouldn't have made it out of that room. Yeah. I think he proved himself on the battlefield, but Erdo, I understand it might be harder to believe just from a shocked look. Exactly. As we said, cowardice doesn't prove that he's a liar or a traitor. There is another question that I'm not entirely sure whether we are capable or whether it's even appropriate for us to try and answer it. Namely... How did he get out of there alive? Maybe Mordath were right to try and take the eye. Maybe Tasker Glimmer shouldn't have had it to begin with. Maybe Zura Hello didn't so much betray Hythorn as she did try to bring a demonic force to its end. Tasker was never going to use it in that way. Well, why did she have it in the first place? Tifus had it, Elves had it, I think it's on the... uh... We protected it. And we used it for good. When we needed to. For good? You've seen what good it can do. First hand. We gave Jutherian answers about his family. That he'd spent years searching for. And he still hasn't found her. Look, that's not down to the eye, though. No. The eye led me to the elves, and the elves said my mother headed off. East, west. Plus, I east, also think these east. things are not black and white. I'd say there is a a, a grey area here. You know? yeah. Many people sure. try to do things for good, and do not believe sometimes that they're doing it for the worst reasons. I don't believe. The circle had any part in any evil intent. I mean, we all have been guilty of trying to do good and it not having the best results, (laughs) you know. I I do have 
I have to voice my concerns, though. Please do, Mistress Moonwhite. The children of Sister Moon, your words are worth heeding. My concerns are towards troubling rumors we've been hearing about the worshipped god. And I, I'm not sure whether there's any truth to them, but that there are rumors out there that the god worshipped the, the two-faced baboon might be uh, something much older and something not so nice. I was asked to look into this when we went there and I could not find out the truth. We didn't get the opportunity. It's one of the reasons why we took the eye, <clears throat> where I took the eye back to be able to maybe at Valandor try and find out that truth. This is a good question. Which of you can answer it? Um, I, I, I know who we worshipped, but I thought- I cast the thought capture. <laughs> okay, what's what's the in three words? What's in Shanta's mind at the moment? Just three uh, words. Oh, Big Mac fries. Probably. To, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, probably should I tell? Okay, there you go. Should I tell? Um, I I know who it is, but. I, I, I don't, I, I, I didn't know that they were a bad thing. I thought they were good. <laughs> no. Mm, I think you should tell us a bit more of what uh, this is about. This is no time for secrets. She looks over to the... Just saying the name backwards. <laughs> <laughs> she looks Out of character. Over... Yeah, she looks over to like the elderly tiefling and is kind of like looking almost like, should I say? Should I? <laughs> We, 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 we followed uh, Amorna Boar, um, who was, um, I, I can't really say, um, without bad things happening. Bad things. Calling out a demon's name or a god's name can sometimes bring them here, Aldrich. Ah. Yeah, that would be bad. Seeing oh. as we just kind of... When did you find this out? <laughs> when did I find this out? Uh, she's always known. Okay. It was one of her starting secrets, if you recall. Yeah. Um, I meant, like, how old was I? Like, how how many years? Oh, was uh, gosh, early teens. Okay. 12, 11 or 12 years old. When she's old enough to have learned the difference. So that was last week. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay. Roll one d4 burn damage. Um, um, I, I, I've, I've known for since I joined the circle, really, just a little bit after, but I, I, I didn't know it was a bad thing. I just thought it was misunderstood. No one's blaming you here, Chanda. No, but it does put the motivations of Tosca in a different light. Mm -hmm. She never did anything bad. That Even you know. that light corrupts slowly, huh? If you, if you don't embrace it readily, it will try anything in its power to slowly, surely pull you over in its control. How long did Tosca have the eye? As long as I've known. Mm -hmm. She might not even have noticed that she was slowly, surely... Doing his bidding. Yes. But, but we never did anything bad. We, we just helped people. I, I saw Zura and Zura's greed towards trying to obtain that item in Valandor Castle when I was carrying out the illusion. Zura wasn't... Zora wasn't a good person. But she was before. You didn't know. She she used to scare me. Tasker never scared me. No. But the thing is, you don't really know, do you? You don't really know a person. Well, then how can I trust you? Exactly. It's a very good question. We trust people by our actions. Tasker may not have been doing anything bad in your eyes. Or in her eyes, or in anyone in the circle's eyes. That it could have been bad. To everyone else, or the world. But... Who's used to say what she did behind closed doors. I don't like this. No. I can I understand that. Let's talk to your tiefling friend, shall we? Exactly. Yeah. As I say, these are questions which it might not be appropriate or even within our capability to answer. Can you write his name down, Charter? Uh, I can. I, I don't know if that will do anything, though, but I can try. Well, let's hope not. Let's, let's try, write yeah. down a demon's name and we give it power. Would any of us know that? Any checks we can make? Uh, I, 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 I speak. All three, all, all three, in fact, all, all the spellcasters, so that's everybody, but you are an out. Can make me an intelligence roll, please. As high as you can, but no higher than your intelligence. 16. Is this a perception roll? <laughs> for that. Uh, I rolled a three. Yeah, okay. Good. 16. I a 10. 16 good for me as well. 16 as yeah. well, yeah. And 16 for Yeah, all of you know that writing it down is uh, not immune to the demon's attention. Uh, oh, it's not immune? No. no, even if you write it down, um, it can get the demon's attention. Um, I, I can't write it. I, I could, but it would probably work still. But I, I have said it before. Oh. Ah. Uh. I remember you said a funny sounding name once. It rhymes with Flimmer Flurgan. <laughs> That's not a part of Charade. That's a leap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we pretty much know who it is. That's fine. Yes. Okay, so. <sighs> You're, you worship this entity then? Well, I thought it was a. A good thing, that's why I trusted it. And it's betrayed you recently, hasn't it? Quite badly, in fact. Mm. So. <sighs> Do all of you worship this entity, or is this a very sort of specific, localized thing? Well, As I recall, Vanto says, your family discovering this was part of what caused the Crusade of Tears. What, the yes. Flair family or Valandor family? 
Family. family. Right, okay, sorry. We were we were the, the worst um, proponents of this particular crusade. Mm -hmm. And committed all manner of atrocities in its name. I wonder how much of that was the demon's will as well. All men are easily influenced. Based on what I have seen in the, in the last weeks, I would say that is very likely. Volta stands. Tarvo has waited here long enough. He'll show you to your rooms. I will think on your offer of testimony for Erdo and for Targon. May I have a word with you, uh, Valto, in private? In private? As you wish. Tarbo, please. Very well. I bow my head to him and then walk out of the tent. Building Chanta will try and copy, bowing the head, probably knocking something over with her horn. <laughs> so. Um. And if I may, try and eavesdrop in on this conversation. Okay, so you're gonna go to the, your room, but then try and slip back and have a bit of a listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Critical failure. Yeah. As uh, Tarbo leads you off, he nudges you with L. You're being unusually quiet there, Laval. When we last met, you couldn't keep your uh, your mouth shut. Yes, well, I suppose same went for you back then. But things have changed since we last met. Alderic said you've lost a great deal. Your home, yes. family. Yeah. Yes, my, uh, my mother, well, not my mother, but the only real mother I ever had is... You never knew your real mother? No, I did not. He places a hand it... on your shoulder. I'm sorry. Nor did I. Must have been hard for you. Well... It's like a hole that you don't know is there. But you feel it anyway. And you're not sure why. Yeah. And then as you reach a certain age and people will remind you. That's right. And I lost my stupid brother, but, um, well, somehow I feel like he's going to pull through in that weird way that he does. You have a I've got three stupid brothers. Oh, um, Dear, that must be terrible for you. I'm, my condolences. I You're have two. Than me as well. Two. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think you can hear you. I think you are right. No, I hope not. No, His ears will be burning. <laughs> no, he's got important things to talk about with Tarvo. Yeah, whatever. With uh, Walter, sorry, I'm Tarvo. I'll leave that lordy stuff up to you. Stupid tiefling names. I don't know how to get bloody all mixed up. <laughs> You've been drinking, have you? Always. <laughs> Always. Yes, of course. Yes. Well, once you get settled, why don't I come by and I'll um I'll bring you some of my best grog. Aye. Sounds like a good idea. Perhaps we can reminisce over never known mothers. Well, you'll need something to bolster your courage if you're going to be heading into the pyramid. Oh yes, that's a thing that we're doing now. Likely, I'll never, I'll never see you again. Well, I didn't particularly want to, to mention it, you know, but um, Walter was like, oh no, you must tell them about where you put the eye. Oh yeah, whatever, eyes. Pfft, we've all got them. Not that special. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, well, here, here, here you are. Um, these three huts have got adjoining rooms, uh, adjoining doors between the rooms. So make yourselves come... Where did your tiefling friend go? Oh, you, you mean the short one in the blanket? Oh, God, I've not lost her, have I? Oh, no. Uh, no. All right, you, oh. you, you 
Stay here. I'm gonna go find her. I'm gonna get in trouble if oh. she's gone and she yeah. sets something on fire. Check with that <laughs> Yes. Well, she is prone to setting things on fire. I'll tell you that for much. Does Does she know who she is? I mean, or what she is? You know, I'm not quite sure. She's a She's a funny one. Funny is a word, yes. Oh, you yeah. Was she use that? Was she hit on the head? When? More, when she more was... than. Well, any time. Take, take your. I don't. Oh sure no! I absolutely, know. I've done it myself. You know. <laughs> oh. Anyway, her I her heart's, go, I... heart's in the right place, though. Was it? If only that were enough. Hmm. Well, I'd better go find her before she. I don't know. Writes a demon's name down or something. Oh, and make yourselves comfortable. I'll uh, I'll be along later with some strong drink. Ah, uh, you better. Aldrich. Tavo, uh, Valto. God damn it! Waits till the um the others have made their way down and out of sight, and sits himself back down. I uh, bones creaking. I place my weapons by the door. Take my what helmet I, off. What can I do for you then? I have a question for you. A rather important one, actually. I sit down. As I already explained to you, uh, House Valandor has fallen. The hands of House Mordath. They slew my mother, Lord Ruthick. For all intents and purposes, the house of Valandor that once was is no more. I see. Avel is, and Galric are the last Valandors. And if Galric is no more, then Avel is heir to the house? I don't even know that. That's a frightening possibility. So I have a proposal for you. Shanter is about this top point that you kind of creep up outside and um, start his dropping. I take, he takes his signet ring off his hand and places it on the table in front of him. My people have done your people more harm than I can ever make right. But I will not let those Mordath bastards take away the last thing without a fight. So, I want your help, and in exchange, I will give you sanctuary in House Valandor. Share the house with me, build a new one. You want our help to take Valandor back? And to destroy the eyes. And I will give all these people shelter in that fortress. Let us make a new house. He out of the out, ashes. Takes your hands in his. They're like these big bags of old knuckle bones. Skin like sandpaper. My boy. The gods of the heavens and the living worlds and the garden bless us in this moment. That we may take the future in our hands and forge it as we dream.
I will speak on your behalf and make your offer known to my people. Thank you. When it comes to our warriors joining their blades to yours, however, that is not my choice. That rests with our war master. Very well. You will need to speak to her. Let me guess. Your instincts serve you well. <sighs> yeah. Well, then our cause is lost. <laughs> we shall see. He pats your hands. Have faith, Eldrick. I, uh... I stand up. Runs to my room as quick as possible. <laughs> Shanta, you turn around to see uh, the entire fleet standing there looking at you. Uh, sorry, I, I lost you. Did I was you know? I was wondering if you were in that room. Um, uh huh. So I was trying to. See. You were trying to. You were trying to hear me if I was in there, were you? Because you've been standing there an awful long time. Oh, I was couldn't work out the voice. Well, you could have said something. No, no. <laughs> I'm the sort of fellow who sits on a dune and watches a bunch of poor humans fight a sand lion. This is much as just as entertaining as that. Oh look! Here's your here's your fellow now. She blushes at that. <laughs> oh, why don't you escort this uh, wee lassie back down to your rooms? It's Chanta. Hmm. So you keep saying. Hi. What are you doing? Here? What am I doing here? No, not you. Eldrick, are you all right? I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I'm fine. He saunters off. I, uh... Put a, a hand on her shoulder. I just need to be alone for a second. Okay. Um, Alder goes and stand on some lookout point and looks out at the desert. Setting sun. Brooding. Okay. Shanta just stands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't quite trying to do that particular <laughs> reference, but <laughs> you get the idea. Nice. Um, Shanta just stays put because she doesn't know her way to the rooms. <laughs> so that's not at all awkward then. Okay. <laughs> so she's, she's just going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Shanta and Aldric return to the uh, to the shared rooms that you have a, uh, a short while later. Giving you at least the opportunity to um, consider what waits for you. The God's Mouth Hallows, otherwise known as the Pyramid of the Viridian Flame. This doesn't sound good, Balis. Undead. More undead? <laughs> yes. I guess talking about the pyramid of, of happy and joy. Ah, oh, Audrey. How did your chat go? Good, I think. Have you seen Chanta? Oh, she's right behind me. Hi. Hey, where were you? Uh, sorry, I, I got lost. Okay. Is there any drink? Just water, I'm afraid. I look. I is is. Uh, it's um, nice. It's good. It's nice and stale. It's good water. <laughs> stale. Uh, is 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 the sarcastic look, tiefling there? Um, if you, you look out, you actually see uh, <laughs> Tarvo. Tarvo is making his way back up toward your quarters. Um, he's got uh, a 
kind of a, a platter balanced on one hand. There's heaps with meats and cheeses and bread. Um, he's got a bottle stuck under his arm. He's holding a bottle in his uh, other hand. And you see he has an even smaller bottle sticking out of his, uh, out of his belt. Uh, the man of the hour. Oh, hello. Um, take this, please. Somebody, t- thank you. Good. I'm sure. He- and then he starts handing, handing out bottles. I brought you something else as well. And he reaches into his, uh, his shirt and unfolds a, uh, a piece of paper upon which he has uh, sketched for you a um, a little map. That is quite a pretty sketch. Oh, it's just a wee thing I threw together. You're too kind. You're too kind. Mm. Cartography again by Dyson Logos. Big thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> How quaint. Hey, but that, that wavy thing in the center, that's the breath then. That's the breath, yes. It kind of shoots up the middle. And um, so as you'll see, there's, uh, there's supposedly an, an entrance further up, but it's got these big weird metal doors and uh, I don't know anybody who can get through. And uh, mm-hmm. there's obviously, s- there's a passageway that leads up from the lower level to the upper levels, but um, it's supposedly hidden behind a secret door and only... Uh, only the priests knew where it was. Worshippers would come to the lower level and bow to the flame and whatnot and hope that it wouldn't snuff them out of existence and then go about their merry ways. But um, there's supposed to be at least four other levels above that. Hmm. So tell me, how much trouble are we expecting when we get there? Oh, I wouldn't go there. You couldn't pay me to go there. As I was saying to, to your, uh, your handsome friend in the hat here, um, it's probably the last time I'll see you. Yes, this looks ominous. Aye. But, you know, I mean, there are worse ways to go than being drained to a soulless husk by uh, a thing that should not be, I, I, I suppose. What? Okay. Fear monger enchanter. Just ignore it. Oh, I, I munger all sorts of things. Fear is just the half of it. <laughs> oh, lordy. I don't suppose you're mongering any drink. I've mongered a whole bunch of drink for you, you ungrateful human lanky bugger. Is it? Is it hard to see from up there? Can you... oh, I'll drink you. Useless human. Here you go. Oh, thank you. To your bottle. Oh, see from up there. <laughs> I, 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 I down one of the glasses and then pour myself another. <sighs> You don't happen to have some cream or sour milk. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I could get you some sour milk, yes. <laughs> yes um, all right, fine. I'll be about my next errand then. He gets up and saunters off. How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I do this? How do I do you could host and brought it in the first place. You know what Moonwhite's thing? I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink some water and take some meats and stuff. Okay. Won't eat a cat, will you? Don't don't give it any <laughs> ideas. <laughs> I didn't see many cats. I, do tieflings eat? I think the tieflings eat cats too. That's why there are not that many around here. Oh. Ignore him, Chanter. I don't eat cats. Bellis, this this stuff we picked up, maybe we could sell it here. Good one. It's not a bad idea. Oh, you mean the the the, the bits? Mm-hmm. The lion, the the the, 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 the what's it? The, the sand, sand lion. lion. Yes. Chopped, Whatever chopped up. Creature, it was. We could use some funds. And everyone in the village is really nice. I got debts with the boss here, so... I'd rather use some funds to maybe... <laughs> allow Chanter some entertainment. Did you? She got that fine familiar spell. It'd be nice to see her... actually put it to some use. Instead she of gets it. Her, 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 her familiar desert uh, lion. Or it's mm-hmm. lion. Let's hope that would be amazing. Can I have if... one of those? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 
What? 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 You? You? Were, you're the one who bought the spell. You might be able to have one, but it will probably be about this big. Yeah. Oh, that'd be really cute. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could call it. You could call it Pinchy. Oh, I like that. I will. Yeah. Um, I I think <laughs> it costs a lot of money though. Hey, regardless, it doesn't matter. Let's go and see if we can sell it. Okay. Tavo is back uh, shortly with your uh, somewhat sour milk. Ah, thank you very much. <clears throat> well, I will leave you to your uh, to your rest and recuperation. And um, good luck in the morning, both with your uh, your testimony for your friends and uh, with what waits for you in that awful awful pyramid you're not going to see us off i suppose i might you're gonna... if nothing else you can point us in the right direction he bows i will see you in the morning then my friends sleep well sleep good well. night good night Avil. sleep well sweet dreams shut up i think he likes okay. me uh, you think slightly Mm. So, there we're going to take a break <laughs> and uh, <laughs> pick it up in the morning with, um, well, whatever the bastard squad has in mind. <laughs> Judarian strides back into the hut. Night is now long fallen and stars dust the fortress with the silver on every outline. He places herbs, unguents, the components of a find familiar incantation gathered from around the markets of Kalfara. You found it? Yes, have you cast from a, sp um, from a scroll before, Chanta? Um, I don't believe I have. Well, I wouldn't do it in here. Mind you, this place, even in a desert, it all depends what you're going to find. Um, I'd it... rather myself wait for the forest, find yourself a nice bird, squirrel, is it, maybe. Is it true that the casting time is 2d12 hours, right? Yeah, you can, you can be at this for quite some time. Um, well, we could d do it now, but it, it could it could last a whole day. It does take some time, yes. Can she do it in parts? Would I know that? No, absolutely not. No. You just need some time before we do it. There's no time to do it now. We could do it after the testimony, and then... I'd say we wait until after the testimony, then. And then, once I find it, we can head off to the desert. Okay. I feel like he could come in handy. Little, little pinchy. <laughs> well, it's assuming that's what you get. I think regardless of what it's going to be, it might be a little bitey or a little pinchy around here. <laughs> yes. This I'm, place I'm is still just gonna call full of pinchy. dust. So then it's a night of rest. And in the morning, the sun rises early over the desert. There's a glow on the horizon and then less than half an hour later, the sky is a, a fire with a fresh dawn. You make your way up to Valto's quarters. He's not alone. Taro's nowhere in sight. But Erdo has been brought 
out of his imprisonment. Hi, Erdel. He, he looks up and manages a smile. I give him a nod. Uh, uh, hello. Um, we're, I'm gonna testify for you, but I just need to do something first that will help with, um, the, um, uh, believableness of, of my statement. What exactly is this? A, uh, tall, heavy set and powerfully built tiefling steps forward. Oh, hi. Um, uh, I, I've had permission to, to, to try out a spell. Um, this? The tiefling turns to, uh, to Valto. This girl is the sorceress you were speaking of. This is the inheritor of the Kalian Circle. What is your name, girl? Ch Chant Flair. Flair. Yes. My name is Yule, Barrow Yule. Hi, Yule. Barrow Yule. <laughs> May I proceed? He steps forward and just regards you intently for a a few moments. Go ahead. Um, she's going to cast Charm Person, I'm, if I'm, she may. I, I, I hold her off for a little bit. Oh. And um, I will give you some aid in this. And oh. With Charm. I, right. I suggest you ask him to let it happen. Oh, Erdo, um... What, this, what are you going to do? Um, no sense. I'm just going to make you um, feel uh, so much trust towards me that you will tell the truth. But I already trust you, Chanta. I know, it just adds some, for the testimony, some credibility. You don't need to convince her. You need to convince these people. Because they think I'm going to lie about what happened. And that's why we're going to prove them wrong. Go on then. We're, we're here to I, help won't, you. I won't resist. Um, you'll just see this. She'll kind of like, if, he, if she can reach his hand, she'll kind of hold his hand. And you'll just see this. Or you could probably feel like the energy go to him as she attempts to charm him. He kind of gasps. Oh. Oh, this was a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. It's okay. Um, I, I feel really bit, bad now. It's okay, don't feel bad, it's <laughs> all right. Um, so, can you um, just tell me and, and my friends um, what happened that day when the c castle was attacked. Well, you and Avil came down to to the storerooms and I had just finished doing my hair and Avil said it looked good and I complimented him on his hat. And yes, he, uh, that he seemed, happened. He seemed really pleased at that. And then I said that you were my friend and and you look really pleased at that. And that's because you are. You are. You're the best friend I've ever had. Thank you. No one, no one else has come here and done this for me. So about the tunnel. I never, I never realized it before. Do you think yeah. we could perhaps speed things up here oh. just a little bit? You know. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, know, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, no, no, of course. Um, so I, I wanted to, to show you 
some of the good stuff, some of the um, the rum that I'd been saving. And so we went to the back of the storeroom and then there was a tunnel. And then Avil just insisted that we go in the tunnel. And I was really, <laughs> really, really scared. Um, but Avil made me feel quite bad and I, I didn't want to look bad in front of Shanta. So we went into the tunnel and... Um, Did you know then, about the tunnel? No, someone had moved some of my packing crates and I've got this really uh, um, uh, efficient system for keeping a, a track of where the stores are. You see, it has to do with the dates that things come in and then within the date range, it's all sorted alphabetically. And then within alphabetically, it's sorted from perishable to non-perishable. And then within perishable and non-perishable. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, we're wait, going wait, off wait. again. We're does going that, off again. Does, does that mean that you can actually pinpoint the day that that tunnel appeared there? Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. When was that? Well, let's see. The pomegranates had been moved, um, but oh. they were not. They were on the wrong side of the quinces. They were to the left of the quinces rather than to the right. So, um, but but right. So it went pear, quince, pomegranate when it should have gone pear, pomegranate, quince. So which um, date would it be that the tunnel appeared? That would have been two days before the actual assault because the shipment came in from red lake with the pomegranates and then i had an argument with targon about it because he said that he wanted to have some of the pomegranates and i told him that he wasn't allowed to have it we're going off properly... again it's okay sorry no, it's, 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 it's asked me to tell everything that happened so the main um, thing is you know nothing about the tunnel oh yeah the tunnel um no, I didn't. And then we went down the tunnel and there were uh, um, Mordath troops in there. And uh, uh, then I ran away. What happened with Targon? You had an argument. Yeah, he wanted to have pomegranates before they'd been actually registered. And if I, you know, I wouldn't have known exactly that the count had come in and been correct. And then I could have put the wrong number in my ledger. How did you escape? Oh, um... <clears throat> I um I went and climbed into the midden and I hid there. Did you see what happened after that attack? Once they'd come up from the lower levels, I got out in the midden and I went down to the river and I swam away. So you didn't see anything which took place after that? No. Uh I found Targon by the riverbed by the river bank. Uh at sunset and the next day um, they they left him for dead did you have any idea that this attack might happen no I didn't no, does he look sincere she'll look uh, over at the guard and just be kind of like I think his uh, calculation of uh, actually uh, with his system and then pinpointing the date that that tunnel appeared already shows that he didn't know. Baron nods. Does he look sincere? He looks absolutely sincere and completely desperate um, to prove that sincerity to Shanta. He's completely in the middle of a charm. Um, y'all would... I have one question. Do you, do you think the Trollborn was in on it. Targon, no. Okay. He, 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 if it weren't for his trollish fortitude, he would have died. He gave, or as good as gave his life. I look pointedly to all the others. Valto's just been listening, nodding. Barrow looks toward Valto. Well, it's, clear this Erdo fate is just too much of an idiot to have planned anything other than this. The plan, as far as Tuska was concerned, the betrayal was Suras. That was her last dying thought. The betrayal was definitely Zuras. Yes. 
This is why I, that, that's why I know for sure. But whether the others were only in, 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 in it, I doubt it. Your shrugs. I've heard enough. I've heard exactly what you people did at Whitethorn. I've no reason to doubt your sincerity. You proved it in blood. As far as I'm concerned, Fade can go free. She'll uh, drop the charm person. Erdo looks confused, then hopeful, then hurt. And then a flush comes across his cheeks of embarrassment. Thank you, Erdo. Did you hear you're free now? Thank you. That's okay. And you can finally teach me how to do your hair thing. Goodbye, Shanta. And his head down, he turns and hurries out of Valto's chamber. It's all right, he's just a bit embarrassed, I say. But why? I don't... The charm <laughs> thing is an invasion in a way. And it forces him to give himself up and after the charm goes away, he realizes it. But it guaranteed his freedom, Chanta. Yes. So I don't feel guilty. No. It'll pass. We know you trusted him, and he will know you trusted him. But these people here needed to convince him. And your magics prove that. I'll go and let the trollborn out, Barra says. That trollborn would serve you very, very well in your armies. I'm not looking forward to this. Do you want some help? Better get it over with. Maybe see if, if you saw a friendly face, it would help. If he knows you, yes. I'll come along. Don't I, He knows me. I can talk to him. It's all right, Shanti. You, you've done your bit. I, but if you want to come, by all means. I would like to see him again. Such a handsome fella. Oh my Darren goodness! Looks I've like that. How how stunning but, he is! But even more ir <laughs> even more irritated, if possible. <laughs> He's in oh a God. a cave, <laughs> right in the heart of the uh, the outcrop. Um, steel bars, guards. The unmistakable trollborn stench is redolent in the corridors leading up to uh, to his cell. As soon as he sees Barrow, he stands. What's it now? What have you come to... Shanda! Hi, You're yeah. alive, girl! Yeah. <laughs> Valandor! Hey. You were supposed to die fighting with me. Why are you alive? They saved me. I had to protect her. Wasted opportunity. So, they're going to lock you in prison. T oh, no. They're letting you out. Unlocks the, uh, the door to the cell, swings it open, steps back. Oh, I see, Targan says. Cracks his neck with a sound like logs breaking. Now, Barra says, let's uh, treat you fairly. Inter I interpose myself. Targon. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Good lad. Now let's go get some drink. Oh. <laughs> Slaps you hard on the shoulder. All Lead right. the way. I remember I liked you. 
<laughs> I uh, nod to uh, Barayul and say, uh, you know, I kind of nudge him to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Barra steps aside and allowing you to uh, lead Targon out into the bright morning sunlight. Where's uh, Before I leave, I ask Barra, do you know where I can find some drink for this guy? I'll have some sent to your uh, to your quarters. Could that works. Send, Thank you. Could you send some pomegranates? <laughs> if I must. Thank you. When he sees the rest of you, Targon just gives a hearty laugh. So none of you is dead? It was just me? Well, you're not dead, are you? I might have been. I tried my hardest. <laughs> you gotta try harder Elf, next time. White. Hat boy! Ha ha ha! kept your Man. hat! I, yes, that is, that is a thing that I kept out of the many things that I have. Yes. And I see you kept your, um... Yes? Everything. Uh... <laughs> Mm, I remember you being a bit more eloquent last time. I'm going through some stuff, okay? Just, just jump <laughs> on. Mm, tea. Tea? <laughs> what? You drink tea? Shut the hell up. Okay, Tug on, uh, what? Tug on, Tug on grins. And some grog too, why not? So, you came here to rescue me? And that fool fade? No, that was just, uh, that was lucky. Right place, right time, I guess. Well, we just thought you were dead. It's great to see you again. <laughs> I suppose it is. So, hmm. there's the matter of his trial still, or is that over now? I think he's free. No, your testimony has, uh... Tell me, Trollborn, what will you do now? Ah, uh, good. Well, as soon as the drink arrives, I give, uh, I give, uh, um, I forget his, I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Tar uh, Targon. Targon. Uh, I give Targon a like, big glass. Like Tryon, but it's Tar. Right. Um, yes. <laughs> he swills half a carafe. Okay. Slams it down on the table. So if you didn't come all this way across the Kashigarine Desert to rescue me and that floppy-haired fool, what are you doing here? Looking for help. You're not the, you're not the only one who lost the castle. Valandor has you, fallen. You've lost Valandor. Yes. Not Mordath. Yes. Someone needs to take that sword and that serpent and ram it up their collective backsides. Uh, you're... Yep, that, that's pretty much... Yep. Applying for the post? D do you want some work? You seem to do an awful lot of running away. Perhaps a bit too much for my liking. We'll if, you, if, if, if Fort Valandor has fallen, that's another opportunity to you for you to have died fighting, and yet here you are. It seems it's to me a, that you're it's a strategic your pro retreat, retreat. Strategic retreat. You. We don't all, all have the same generative skills as you do. Eh? You, you, you claim to be dying, but yet after you die, you get up and you try and do it again. I did my best. With us, it doesn't work that way. Targon, they. Every battle we've been in, we've won. But when it came to a loss, they left to protect me and the others. You should have stayed and died with honor. Met the gods in the heavens with your chins held high. And our lives fallen cheap. It is not cheap. Now I you run the risk of dying in your beds or of a disease or falling off a horse or something ridiculous like that. 
And you also run the risk of living to fight another day. Given the fact that we still have business with Mordath, I'd say those chances are pretty bad. And if we had died, you'd probably die here too. In some prison cell locked up. Not looking so bad that we survive now, eh? Who's the eloquent mm. one? <laughs> That's a good point. Damn it. Fine. I don't see no honor in death I feel, when I it's fail I fill up his glass again. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Mm. May I have one? Sure. Pour her a glass. Had it to her. Got some bite to it, this tiefling liquor. I like it. Put horns on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Here, just pour it in my glass. You've already got horns. Uh, I finished the rest of my glass. So, what will you do now then, Troll Moon? So I know much well, about Trollborns, by the way. Any regeneration, obviously Trolls. And... Um, yeah, they don't die when they're supposed to. Often will uh, live on beyond uh, blows that would kill normal men. They have a long and interesting history, history involving a, um, a plane traveling mountain and whatnot. Okay. Cool. And they're very attractive. And they're I mean, very, very sexy. Really. Yes. So, what behold, will you do now? Behold. Well, I suppose <laughs> I'll have to find some battle to throw my life away in. You could well, you've come us. to the right... Yeah, I was about to say, you've come to the right place. Erdo's not coming with you, is he? Not that I'm aware of. Liability. Why not stay here and fight for these people? Who are the Tuklings going to fight? They're hiding in the desert. You can protect me like you did Tasker. Tasker. Mm. Heard some unsettling things about Tasker. Not sure I made the right choices there. What, what did you hear? And who did you hear it from? The guards lording it over me saying that all the word in the northern provinces was that she was enslaved to a demon and the Zura was somehow trying to put matters right I don't know what to think give me a sword and direct me where to put the sharp bit that sounds you need direction for that in it sounds unbelievable to me, what that, that rumor. It sounds like a rumor which was put there by others. <sighs> well, it's beyond my ability to fathom out, that's for sure. I drink, I live, I slay, and I am content. Sounds like a philosophy to live by. Yes, Queen. So what do you have to offer me then? You've all said it two or three times. Well, uh, we are currently on our way to find an Eye of Kalax in the Pyramid of the Viridian Flame. Certain death. An honorable one, too. We could use a strong arm like yours. Lots of undead and extra planar creatures. Something to go up front and set off all the traps. <laughs> Give him a wink. <laughs> this is excellent news. <laughs> <laughs> this right, well... Best, uh best day I've had in... Months. <laughs> Chant is just going to lean into whoever's closest to her and just be like, why do all my friends have a death wish? That's funny coming from you. Yeah. 
The demon kissing girl. Yes. Yeah, you just summon the demon. Demons. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I rubber. We're just kidding. Goodness. Teasing you a bit. Come on. No need to pout. I wouldn't kiss any demons. Yeah, no more demons, please. Yeah, Thank they. Uh... How about a trollborn? He's a handsome fella. Uh, more Evel's type. Mm. Rather. Of summoning. Um... <laughs> I break you all like twigs! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not you, Aldrick, but the rest of them. Yeah. Right. Um, that was an image I didn't need. Um, thank you. Um... <laughs> let's work on that. Troll show yeah, let's 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 uh, let's go uh, do uh, Shanta's thing. Uh, and uh, and uh, you hear? I just give him another bottle. Here, just here's another bottle, and uh, and and, and the, the, the 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 loo is that way, and uh, you know. Uh, oh, delicious. <laughs> Aldrich is blushing. <laughs> That's not blush. <laughs> <laughs> just... Let's go start this spell of yours, Charter. Trying to suppress the bile. <laughs> do you think we should ask someone where would be a good place to do it? As good a place as any around here. Maybe a quiet spot in the desert? Nearby? We're going to be there for a while. I think you should, if you want to have a, a choice of animals, find a place in the desert where the animals will be hiding. A ravine or uh, something like that. Maybe an oasis. Huh? Did we pass any oasises come in? Well, this place actually is an oasis, but there are little springs that run down from the cliff sides. So if you're looking for somewhere that's a little bit secluded with a small amount of greenery, then it won't take you too long to find it now. Maybe there. Yeah, that would be good. I'll accompany you. Thank you. So, so will I. You might As want will to bring I. some snacks and food. Oh, well, I suppose if we're all going. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the quartermaster and see what we can uh, bring. Some nice sour milk and some cat no, jerky, no, maybe. No, no cats. Cat jerky. <laughs> I thought you said ketchup. <laughs> Sour milk and ketchup. For the my cat. favorite. <laughs> okay, cat jerky, that's a thing. Good. Um, <laughs> okay. So you'd make your way out of Kalfara and into the hills that surround it, finding a pleasant and secluded glen. And there, Shanta, you lay the scroll out in front of you with the summoning components and begin the long, repetitive incantation. An hour passes, and another another and the sun rises higher and higher until it is beating down on all of you your head begins to pound the sweat beads and then pours and runs down your face the rest of you retreat into the shadow of the rock leaving the tiefling sitting cross-legged by the side of the small pool the wind moves through the canyon and there, between the air and the water and the earth and the fire of the heavens, the energy of the spell rises out of you and across the landscape around. It is 12 hours of uninterrupted chanting. Well, she certainly earns her name. <laughs> uninterrupted chanta. Yes. <laughs> damn chant is chanting again. The sun has gone beyond the horizon, and the heat of the day receded into the cool of the evening. The stars wheel in the heavens above you, 
and the pale purple light of Eroth's moon replaces the golden shimmer of its sun before finally your spell is answered. And we're going to bust out AD&D first edition. Bless it's going to be a centipede. Sweats nervously. Got to be a <laughs> Accidentally stands on it. It's going to be a woodlouse. Oh. <laughs> a mosquito. Oh, yeah. God. Mosquito. <laughs> Panda? Oh, yeah. Oh, you can roll me a d20, please. Oh, God. That's a 12. Okay. Definitely a mosquito. Oh, no. You hear movement at the water's edge. Oh, God, I get goldfish. <laughs> and see a pair of... The shortest living familiar ever. Shining eyes staring at you from the side of the water. And then it hops forward onto the land and gives a low and guttural... Rubbit. That means all right. <laughs> you got a toad. It's a big one too. I mean, cane toad in size. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Looks up at you with a surprising amount of intelligence in its back tree and eyes. And as you stare down at the toad. You feel a sense of connection suddenly budding between you. Who's charming who here? As it looks up toward you, for a moment, its vision is yours. You see yourself staring down at it. To this creature, you are a figure of majesty. A goddess incarnate, horns spiraling against the heavens. The sorcery of the fine familiar spell hanging about you like a cloak of witchcraft. And your vision is incredibly enhanced. It is like taking a vast sweep of the world and scooping it into a single glance. The moment of connection recedes but still that vision is yours. You realize you are seeing the world with the same scope and angle as your familiar. Even though you're looking forward, you can see to the sides, partly behind you. A great sweep of wide angle perception. Come here, little guy. <laughs> He hops forward into your hands. Oh. So it's a bellis interesting look. <laughs> Let's just be glad it wasn't a cat. So, yeah, thankfully it wasn't uh, a cat. <laughs> His skin is surprisingly dry, and uh, you expect him to be all sort of slimy and what have you, but no. Nestles up against you, settles down. His big eyes kind of droop ever so slightly. <laughs> and surprisingly he starts to doze off oh. <laughs> guys I think I found him ah you think where yes I'm, I'm like looking out across the landscape how, how big <laughs> is this toad I just like grab his head and turn it's it the, it's the size <laughs> of a cane toad so um how big is that it's like a big one like, like two hands big, sort of thing, like this. yeah yeah <laughs> like that yeah Wait, that? Mm -hmm. An interesting choice. That was not choice. what I was expecting. <laughs> what do you expect, a scorpion or a snake from out here? But interesting. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't. I think I thought it would just come hopping across the landscape, but I guess it really did. Um, just a shorter distance of landscape. I place my hand on Aldrich's shoulder. Now. Just concentrate on your swords, my friend. <laughs> Magic's yeah. 
Magics cannot be answered. As simply as a sword. You guys want to pet him? Sure. Sure. <clears throat> Bellis comes and have a look. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, very good one. What's his name? Pinchy. <laughs> Pinchy. <laughs> I, th- I thought you were going to get a scorpion <laughs> or a s- sand lion. Pinchy it is. <laughs> so Darren just looks stoic as ever. Definitely looks like a pinchy. Yes, it absolutely. That is a pinchy all the way. Um, Look after him. Uh, I will. Yeah. I mean, look yeah. after him. <laughs> Seriously, don't sit on him or something. <laughs> the, the collective thoughts we paid a thousand gold pieces for a toe. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> this is where people in chat go, wow. what? A thousand gold for a fine familiar? Yes, this is two, two E, <laughs> not five E. <laughs> It's a very nice toad. It's worth it's a thousand a toad. Gold. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. The magic, magical toad. Especially giving you that sort of perception. Mm. Yeah. So good. Let's head inside. These humans are probably crisp by now. I look at Aldrich's red skin. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I was sitting in the oh. shade. <laughs> Uh, there's a few more uh, for familiar related details. I'll uh, I'll message them to you, uh, Panda. You can cast Fireball th- three times a day. Um, this two. <laughs> yes. That would be freaking sweet. Teleport. Yeah. <laughs> Summon Slad. Exactly. Yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> and gives you AC minus fifty. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, well, the summon slab wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Oh, when oh, do we leave? Just... Yes, let's uh, let's see about getting this little expedition underway, shall we? Chanta's eyes do not like leave this toad. Like she's just looking at it like a newborn baby. <laughs> Every now and then, the toad kind of stares up at you, and if Toads could smile, he'd be like, "Mummy." <laughs> it's like her dream come true. <laughs> I said to Audrey, maybe she can stop going on about this dragon now. Yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> Do you think our dragon friend would want to meet him? Um, I wouldn't go when he's hungry. Yeah, mind you, I he think might... he's more partial to elf. I think he, I think I think he might want to eat him. Um. Who knows? I know. Yeah, who knows? Do so you then even eat? Uh, well, you no, can find I, out. I'd imagine, <laughs> imagine not. You uh, make your way back down to Kalthara then. Settle yourselves down for a restful night. And uh, in the morning, prepare for the expedition to the God's Mouth Hallows. The Pyramid of Viridian Flame. Right, let me know quickly if there's uh, anything in particular that you want to address uh, before we proceed to the Pyramid. Can't think of anything. As long as the Trollborn got his pomegranates finally, it's all good. Yeah, by the time you get back, he's just kind of like... Oh, did... My pomegranate seeds and an uh, empty bottle of um, tiefling rum. Did the guy... What's his name? Tavo. Did he see us off? Say that again, please. You lagged out. Did the guy Tavo see us off? Well, you haven't left yet, so he will absolutely see you off. Oh, right. I thought we when, had gone. When you, no, when you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, is, is, no, is, nothing that you need, no? Nothing in particular. I'm other sure than we maybe take some dry getting, rations and stuff. Yeah, and some water. food, water. Um, they and foot pole. wouldn't have, for chance, maybe uh, access to some scrolls? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just asking. I'd like to have a, a second illusion spell. Second level. Wouldn't be uh-huh. nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, we'll just make okay. sure we've got water, food, um, maybe um, horses or camels. Mountains. Well, it's, a, it's a day from here, so yeah, they'll okay. provide you with horses to... Uh, Do we have any for rope the, among, for us, the journey there. among us? If we want to go higher. Um, I have rope. I've got rope as well, yeah. So do I. Same. Okay. I guess I'm the only one who doesn't have rope. Amateur. Tavo is uh, with you the next day for the departure. So, you've decided that this is the uh, the path for you, have you? No, you decided it for us. This is where you put it, and this is where we'll yeah. go. That's true. It's kind of my fault, isn't it? Kind no, of. I wouldn't say it was your fault. Your purpose if you is served. If you indeed are uh, drained by some horrendous undead beasties, try not to come back and haunt me. Except you, Avalon. You can come and haunt me if you like. Oh, yes. Well, who knows what'll happen. Well, let us be on our way then. And at his lead, you mount up and set out across once more the Kashigarine Desert. It is, as he says, a day's ride. He takes you through a cunning canyon path that avoids the worst of the heat of the day in shadow. And only when the afternoon has drawn in and the shadows that you cast are long and stretched out across the rippling sand. Does the pyramid come into view? It's a lonely structure. out on the desert. Solitary in the burning landscape. And he halts at a uh, nearby dune. There you go. Just to let you know the toad is being kept in the box the eye was once kept in. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Is that text on the pyramid? No, those are uh, sand. Oh, struck. Yeah, yeah. Just badly rendered sand. I'm just making sure I keep an eye out, Mark. This is as close as I'm getting. Good luck from here. Thank you. Thank you. Before we head in, is there a path you would recommend we take? There's only one entrance, so I'd recommend that one. Okay. Un unless you can find a way to get through those doors. But they're uh, 100 feet or more above the ground. And um, I would not fancy falling from that height. But you're the professionals. What am I? Just a sarcastic drunk old tiefling. <laughs> what would I know? Did well, the you guardian have to say this with, did he have a name? Or she? Pardon? Did the guardian have a name? Yes. High Priest Thurian. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. High priest of what, if I may ask? The old gods of the tieflings. Which is? Oh, uh, a colorful pantheon of figures with a bunch of interesting names, all of which are complete lies. Oh. But ask uh, Lord Valandor here. His people started a crusade over it. Ah. Someone rolled out 1d4 again. What? So there's a bunch of demons Fire being damage. in this, uh, oh, right. in this pyramid. Hi. Well, 
Let's see okay. what we... Uh... Well, thank you for your uh, guidance here, I guess. Yes. N not at all. Enjoy yourselves, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Yes, hopefully we, hope that we shall happens. meet again soon. Take care. And he turns and uh, digs his heels into his horse's flank, and he goes trotting back toward the canyons and safety. We'll head closer then. I should charm him so he stays. No, that wouldn't be very friendly. Oh. And uh, did you bring Tarbon with you? We did. Okay. What do you think, big fella? I think it is an excellent place to meet our ends. Uh -huh. Right. Um, seeing as Hagen is uh, not with us, or is I say, he? I say we look at the higher version first. The door up high. Uh, Hagen will be, um, I'm fairly certain, able to... Sorry, I have a terrible itch in the middle of my back. <laughs> I was really thinking that was an, an interesting yoga pose. Interesting uh, pose yeah. And uh, um, Hagen will not have any trouble joining you, I'm uh, fairly sure. I have a, a, a feeling that he will find a path to uh, to reach you in the middle of whatever part of the dungeon you're in with um, somewhat suspicious ease. <laughs> <coughs> I am a kind and generous dungeon master. Yes. The slaughter's this way, come quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, from where we are, we get to get closer. I'm looking up high if we can see an entrance. Okay. Uh, he said metal doors, so that should be fairly obvious. There's a side view for you. Okay. Um, so you can see, uh, as you come around the side of the pyramid, a large set of doors in one side, and then indeed up above that, what appears to be a balcony jutting out. And it's, well, as you can see from the scale here, that's 20 foot. So it's 100, 150 feet above the main entrance. Okay. You can't actually see any doors from this angle, not at the top anyway, because of, well, the slope of the pyramid and the and the balcony. Can we see that little jut? Yes. Yeah. Is okay. that, that door is on, uh, presumably on one side and one side only? Yes. Yes, okay. So it should be fairly easy to find which side that is. Yeah. Um, well, which one of you is particularly good at climbing? Because um, I think I'd be pretty bad at it, given... I gave um, my scroll of spider climb to Jadarian. You did. Yes. I'm trying to think if it's worthwhile. Well, all of us it was the elf's idea, so... Sorry? It was is the it worthwhile us, the us all looking, or...? Well, how about this? You take all the rope with you, and if it is worth looking in, you tie it off up there and mm -hmm. let the rope down, and we can just climb up. Looking at the side of this, Mark, is it like, is it how hard is it to climb like that without spider climb? <sighs> Sorry, it's not impossible, sure. but if you f if if you came loose, it would be uh, an unpleasant fall. For them, yeah. Um, Are you sure? I mean, it, I think it would be quite fun to skid down the side of that pyramid. Not gonna. Yeah, lie. that's 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 one way of describing what it would be like. <laughs> Should we just knock on the door? Something tells me it's not a smooth ride. Knock on the door. Mm. I suppose that's a novel approach. Um, <laughs> they were willing to help before, maybe they'll help again. But this is a tomb? Or a temple uh, of some kind? It's The lower level is being used as tombs now, but when it was um, in proper use, it was a temple. Right. And the the god in question whose breath shoots up the middle is is, is it known which god that is? I think we've lost Mark again. Oh. Wow, look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's getting one of those vibes that if we break in, it's going to be like the doors unlocked the whole time or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We like barrel towards it and then it just opens. 
And we're like, oh, shit. Either that or the whole thing is on a timed lock mechanism. So once you open it and it shuts behind you, that it, it then it's shut for 50 That's years. It. That's and you're it. trapped inside. You know, it's like that TV show that they had called Jungle Run, where you go in and you have time to like get all the, the golden monkeys. But like, if, if you didn't get out before then, I then you'd be shut in there show. forever. Exactly. It's golden like that. Golden monkeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There were these golden monkey statues. And you and like there'd be mini challenges before you go into the temple to get like these other little monkey statues to like give you time. It's like five minutes per little statue. It was like a kid version of like Ninja oh. Warrior or something. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And then you go into this temple, there'd be like bronze, silver, and golden monkey statues, huge. And you get them all, and then I don't know, cash money, whatever. But like if you, yeah, if you run out of time, you get stuck inside the monkey cage, and you know. That was it. That's the last you ever heard of your kid. <laughs> so. Yeah, sorry guys, we won't be long. We'll just literally just wait for our DM just to reconnect. The joys of having people in the UAE. We do need yeah. a, a like connection lost overlay. Yeah, that yeah. is that is something I should that I'm move my head on. sideways slightly so you can see me in the DM box. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh... All good. He's back again. Oh, the music's back. Yep. Oh, no. And it's... No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Don't worry, guys. The door's open. The door's <laughs> open. Let's just go in. We're in... Well, we've got the IFK Lux. Oh, well, that's, yep. that's a coincidence. Oh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go No, on. guys. The I IFK Lux just, like, rolls itself down the pyramid. Hmm, I wonder who <laughs> put the that The IFK Lux is rolling, and the dragon's here now, too. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He broke out of imprisonment and didn't decide to kill us all. Now oh, he's our friend. And then there's the dead body of Sultana, and then there's a corridor. Oh, Sultana. <laughs> I can't remember her name. <laughs> she was she was eaten as well. Yeah. 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 No, she's like, oh, guys, you know what? I saw the error of my ways. I'm really sorry. You know. <laughs> Stab her anyway because we're such yeah. vengeful people. And we're then just like, you know what? Screw you. And then we just stab and, it, and it really, and it feels really good. And, it's so uh, satisfying to see her die from and then, dancing on a grave, singing Hallelujah. And then uh, his parents come out and give her a hug, and then yeah. everyone's parents are actually alive, and we're not. Yep. And Abel's not depressed anymore, and, and he finds his real the, mom. And we discover that the pyramid is actually made of gold. Um, yes. And, and then we harvest we'll over it. it. It'd be great. Have you been listening, Mark? We've done the quest. Okay, good. Okay. They left the eye. Okay, let's have a for us. We're all level 20. Super successful adventure. Well done. <laughs> I'm always glad it works well in that way. Um... <laughs> okay, so you are going to. Uh... Reset cameras quickly. Maybe need to. Don't need no? to. No? Uh, okay, and you guys all still getting the music? Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Um. Let me just get back to roll 20 there. Okay, so you wanted to shimmy up the, uh, someone asked, the last thing I heard was, is it a tomb? And I said, the lower level is being used as a tomb, uh, but in its heyday, the place was actually it's a temple. A temple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I asked, <laughs> to which god? Okay, and the only thing you've heard is um, a collection of tiefling gods. Oh, which, okay, so it was like a pantheonic. A of, yeah, a bunch of false names, yes. Right, okay. Yes. How many are we talking? Some kind of slightly duplicitous henotheism. Yes. Source of plan. Up or down? Well, you seem to want to go up, so why oh. don't we go with that? He I says, I, I don't even know if I can open the doors. I think we should just knock first. Sure, let's try knocking. These are very different plans. Um... Guys, let's split up <laughs> and search for clues. <laughs> Woo! Let's run through the corridors, a montage, and we're coming out, yeah. and then the monsters, like, coming Oh, montage. Out. Let's do a montage of the dungeon. Done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so if you want to approach the main doors on the lower level, uh, you can see that they actually do stand slightly open. Well, so what did I tell you guys? Instead of stairs, you didn't have that. It doesn't look ominous at all. Uh, no, um, that doesn't look ominous, but it is open, which means still that... Still with a knock. Yes. Onwards and upwards. As Why would you say. announce our presence? If only you'd found a uh, a bird or something, Chan, Chancer. Pinchy is useful. No toad shaming, no toad shaming man. No toad shaming, dude. Yeah. And then you'll see like a from his like little box, and I'll let <laughs> his head out, and he can be my eyes. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so 
Are you going to go up uh, to the upper level, or are you going to use this? Uh, the Do you wish lower, me to right? have a look first, or perhaps it would be prudent to look in the the, the open door first? Inside. Okay. And perhaps yeah. you should look in with your elven eyes. Your elven okay. eyes. What do they see? Do elven see? Like okay, your elven eyes. Uh, shit, the see rogue's me. not here. Yes. <laughs> Each square there is 20 feet. I don't go so anywhere near the number one. The passageway. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from that large red number one on the floor. Yeah. Um, the passageway just yeah disappears right into the heart of the pyramid. Um, you can make out a couple of alcoves and a door and some stairs uh, to the left and right. They probably go into these little what look like watchtower things that, uh, that stand to either side of the main entrance. It's uh, sandy. Sand is blown in. The doors have clearly been open for some considerable time, and the sand is in thick drifts by the entrance and shallower and less pervasive the deeper in you go. I look down on the floor to see if there's any tracks. Um, there are tracks, um, some in the sand that appear to be recent of little animals. Um, here and there, you see what looks like it could have been the tracks of uh, a humanoid, a human-sized person at any, at any rate. But you don't think there's been anybody in here in a week or two? In a week or two. Yeah. Um, you were told that this place is still used as a burial site. So some people clearly think that the lower level is, uh, well, if not safe enough important enough to visit on um, on occasion. And well, there... someone left the door open. I say, look, a hobbit lay here. Another one here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Uh, I'll just say these tracks are about a week old. Are uh, they <laughs> like graves? Because you said it was a burial site. I'll, I'll head in um, stealthily. Okay. I want to listen out if I can hear anything inside. Tell you don't. As, as you head in, you see uh, that along the walls of the of the main passageway, there are murals faded and eroded by the passage of time. Okay. Uh, I can see these two entrances on my left and right. Yeah. Are they doors? Are there doors in them, or are they open? Yeah. Or? So the the, the, the little ones mm -hmm. by the number one. No, before that, first thing as you enter. Oh, those things. Okay. No, there are no doors. Um, a, a door is actually shown. You can see one just above the number one. There's a little. There's an actual, an actual door there. Um, those are just open archways with stone stairs spiraling up. Oh, these these are just stone stairs spiraling up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I cast a phantom armor before we uh, enter. In. Okay, and that's AC what for you? AC three. Can somebody put that light uh, spell again on AC, the on the tip of my uh, my dexterity? AC on the tip of the pole arm. Yeah, sure. Oh, so is, that, is, is that three including your dex? No, X excluding my dex. So it's nineteen. Yeah. And it and it gives you a, a hit point per level. Yeah. Okay. I place a blue light upon Aldrich's weapon. And it's there until the uh, yeah, this until, bleed, until, or until the uh, three uh, points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the light uh, shimmers on you around your weapon, Aldrich, and you see yourself looking at the mural beside. Are you going in, by the way? Um, I. Or is this just happening outside? I just happening outside for the moment. Uh, okay. I, I want to shine the light down the corridor first. Okay. Well, the uh, first thing that it illuminates dragon. is the twin mandrill heads of some kind of divine figure. <laughs> One great baboon face looking this way, oh, no. another the other. Oh. And this arms. is in those alcoves? No, it's actually a mural on the wall. Those oh, alcoves course. look as if they might have been, I don't know, guard posts or something, they're, they're dusty and empty. And it has arms, instead of normal arms, it's got like squid tentacles. Now I know that the uh, the tieflings mentioned secret doors, so I'm going to be constantly on the lookout for one of them. That's that demon guy. Uh, 
Yeah. N- let's not say any names. Well, yeah, let's let, no more names. We all know who we're talking. About. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's. We can call him Bob. Okay, you want to refer to him from now on? Just say Bob. Okay. Um, there are hey, other there's a statue of Bob here. Fancy yeah. that. A tall, dark-figured guy with a a wavy bladed sword. You think he's got six fingers in each hand? Um, someone else who appears to be part vulture. Um, Does that remind us of uh, the the demon we just fought? I have a, 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 a little bit. The rock. Kind of um, uh, try to make some sense out of it with my religious uh, background, so that I can. Uh... Yeah, you know the names of the gods: Amon, Ebor, Azagant, Zurioth is the is the vulture one. There's another one called Kash Chan, who uh, he appears to be some kind of. A white-skinned giant figure, um, a dark-skinned woman with hair like moonlight, called you know her name is Kirana, um, and there's a particularly unpleasant-looking individual down the end on his own. Uh, he has uh, a goat's head and a um, some kind of wand or rod with a skull in it. No, not. Oh god. Oh. Would would you better know who that is? <laughs> yes. So that's Orcus. For God's sake! You don't have to roll us out of character. <laughs> <laughs> we all know who that is. The worst thing. False gods, my ass. Well, I ask. I suppose he is a false god. We're not going to Rapanathuk. Rapanathuk yeah. might come to us though. I'm not going. No, no, no. Okay, I tread lightly down the corridor, oh, keeping an eye out for traps if I can. Obviously, I'm no rogue. Chanter's going to keep an eye out for any graves that might be marked for there. Okay, you see no graves in the uh, in the in this uh, entrance hall. Just um, murals depicting the uh, entirely benevolent uh, deities to whom this place is dedicated. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. on the just outside. Before we go in, uh, I'm going to leave a small. Uh, uh, I have a piece of chalk. I'm just yeah. going to put a put a little symbol uh, representing House Valandor, very small, that I know Hagen would be able to find. Okay, cool. Okay, so apart from the stairwells that you think lead up into these little guard tower things that overlook the entrance, um, you've got a doorway in the north, a passageway in the south, and I suppose if you're going to be advancing further down here, you can see that the hallway ends looking like this. And before that, it's only alcoves, or is that 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 um, second to last? Sorry, the the on the southern wall. Yeah. Uh, the, is there. that a passageway going south? That's the passageway. So you guys proceed far enough down there. Yeah. And uh, you see this. Well, obviously, I'm up front, but I'm going to quickly take some time to look for the short straw that I obviously picked. I've obviously dropped it somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm holding the the tip of my weapon high so we can illuminate as much of this passageway as possible. We've come to this door here, so I check if it's open. The one. It's not open, but it. uh, You can open it if you want, of course. How are you doing that first? Circle thing. Is that you just click on the map or something? Click and hold. Okay. I'll uh, listen at the door first if I can. Okay. Put your ear to the door. You hear nothing. I'll quietly open it. Okay. The stone door makes no noise as it opens. That reveals what is almost certainly a passageway leading into a larger chamber beyond. And uh, Aldrich's torchlight glints of something uh, gemstone you think on a stand or rack on the wall in that northern passage in the room beyond yeah 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 up there yeah I'm just gonna before i even walk in i'm just gonna take a quick stand still and have a quick look at the floor uh any obviously the dust any movement 
any place where like footprints might have been yeah you think people have been in and out of here a few times the sand is uh, quite considerably disturbed along the floor here okay I'll uh, quietly walk in Mark I know my danger sense is more in meant for battle situations but I'm yeah. going to try and keep an eye on using that ability as much as I can in, in whatever yeah. context okay. it helps going to knock an arrow okay you believe Bellis this is a vestry of some kind you can see dusty racks of faded green robes and on one rack on the wall masks made of a gently patterned green stone Hagen would probably be able to tell you what it is oh, actually a veil you, you think it's jade um, you see hmm. seven of them uh, uh, Bellis would know actually with her gem craft that's true. That's true. Yes, Bellis, so you do recognize it as Jade as well. Um, seven of them, out of which one of them in the forehead has uh, a topaz set mask. And they're like just simple, smooth things that you think would be strapped to the head, featureless, just holes for eyes, a little slit here for the mouth, a little slit for the, to, to breathe through high cheekbones, not necessarily attempting to depict any particular face, just... Have they not been used for a while? Here's the thing. They're not as dusty as you'd think they would be. <laughs> At any rate, um, Bellis, Avel, you think the jade masks are probably worth about 100 gold pieces each. The topaz is worth 500 on its own. Okay, let's keep the, the, the outfits uh, with us. We might be able to use them as this. No, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like I that, but green. Pick up a mask. <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed it. Um, I say, can you detect any magic from these, Bellis? Um, I, um, should we look at a later time? So let me still have. I'm stop. thinking more. Are these used for some sort of protection in here? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to throw my 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 limit limited amount of detect magics uh, at at something here, unless we really want to do it, because then we won't have it when we really need it. Chant is seeing the. Would I see the mask on the wall? Yeah, you can all see them. Yes. Um, she's gonna make one on her face if she can. Just uh, with a cantrip. Okay. All right. Nice. So yeah, you were talking about taking them. Did, who, who's who's taking a mask? Me. I'm wearing a helmet, so it's pointless. Yeah. Okay. If I can, I'll take the one with the topaz in the head. Be careful okay. with what you grab here. We don't know if these items are cursed or. Well, might come in handy. Who knows? Anyone else? Offerings. Just Avo. Um, I think we should bring uh, the whole lot with us with the, the, the cloaks. So, so. All right. Okay. So Avil's got the one with the topaz and you're, the rest of you are stowing the other six and yeah. robes in your backpacks. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Fair enough. I'll go okay. and listen at the door to the west. For a moment, you think you hear a distant scratching noise. Sounds like something scratching against stone, but it's not on the other. Well, it's not on the immediately on the other side of the door. It's clearly some further distance away, but then it's gone. I'm gonna change my outfit to look like the robes. Okay. <laughs> There's something moving. Okay, all right. Yeah. So it might not be in the next room, but it could be further up. Mm -hmm. I I'll ready my. Uh... Check the door, if it's open or not. No, they're all they're all closed. But if you mean locked, then yeah. yeah mean... Sorry, I mean locked. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not locked. I'll um quietly as quietly as I can open it. I'll mage armor myself if and I can. Stealthily as I can. Okay. You see what looks to be a a broad passageway running north south beyond. 
Not mage armor, shield, sorry. Shield, did you say? That doesn't last too long, so I'd be careful with that. I'll, um, okay, I'll, I'll just peer out to the left and right. Um, quietly as I can. Okay. Do I know? Can I hear that scratching? Yes, it comes again um, from around the curve to the north, and then uh, and then stops. Does it sound animal-like, or it sounds a bit like the noise a rat makes when it's making a hole for itself? Um, but to be fair, <clears throat> a bit bigger. Okay, I tell just just wait here. The light might startle it. And I'll quietly head down to that corner in the north and just peer around. Okay, and um, just to be sure, you're not wearing metal armor, so nope. you move completely noiselessly. I mean, absolutely not a sound at all. And, oops, uh, here's what you see. That's on the very edge of our map, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll tuck it down a little bit. These are slightly too big for... Hold on a sec, I've got to put... I mean, it's just... It, it's inside, but I don't know how far... It there you go. Stretches. There we go. Yeah? Yeah, okay, that works. Right. So, yeah. Long passageway. And unless that's... In case that's not clear, a couple of openings in the southern wall. Can I um, hear what, see where the noise is coming from? Okay. You pause. You wait. It's gone now. There's no sound. While J. Darian is doing that, I'm going to, quietly as I can, I know I'm in armor, but, you know, quietly as I can, I'm going to put a um, chalk mark there. Same Show me as again. Yep. Yeah, good. There, kind of uh, on the outside of the door, just, just yep. a quick... Symbol again. Okay. So. Okay. Just gonna wait there for a minute, maybe. If they, I mean, if they looked out the door, they could probably see me just looking around the corner. Yeah. So, While you're waiting. You hear the noise again. And it's coming, you're fairly certain, from the nearest of the two openings on the south wall. It's a 20 foot wide opening though, right? Yeah, yeah. That's Does a it big sound door. like it's coming closer? It sounds like something's digging in there. Okay. I'll turn around, obviously. I'll take Aldrich's got his head looking out the corner. Who's looking out of here? Uh, out of the room? Yeah, me. Yeah, so, so I'm assuming someone's keeping an eye on me. Yeah, I'll absolutely. turn around to Bellis and give him the head. And I'll just, I'll creep you down this, to you here. Make closer? Yeah, I'll, if you guys move to, say, here. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm showing you with my mouse, and I'm thinking they can't see that. Um, and I will move to this corner here, Mark. I, okay. I, can, I can see that. Yeah, uh, stealthily. All right. So your companions come up behind you. Um, they're making a bit of noise. I mean, Aldrich in particular, clanking away. Um, but none of them is uh, is exceptionally stealthy. But nevertheless, they join you soon enough. So they, they should clank, be around. Clank, 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 clank. Hi. Uh, you should, you, no. <laughs> Are you being quiet? Yeah. You should be on this corner, and, I, and I'll be on this corner. Yeah, OK, cool. Why are we whispering? So, you, they're, so they're, they're, they're still 60 feet away. Yeah. So, so what do you do? I'm going to peer around that corner. All right. Assuming there's a door there. Or there wait. is indeed just a door there. I will stealthily, if I can, open the door. Just, just enough so I can peer in. Yeah. Okay. Well... Um, it's not a particularly large chamber within. Uh, you think there was probably a reliquary 
Um, Wherever one of them is. It's a place where you would keep like the holy water sensor, um, the, the, the fancy candlesticks, uh, all the items of religious importance that are used in ceremonies. Um, uh, item Killian's I, I? Yeah. Um, however, in this particular instance, uh, most of those things, and you can see them scattered around, are scattered around the room um, because there is a huge hole has been dug in the floor and southern wall where something has presumably tunneled into the pyramid from below. Uh, it doesn't take you long to figure out what this is as it leaps out of the, the, near, the hole uh, right by you and um, proceeds to immediately attempt to bite you very I'll hard. Shoot it then the as face. I have an arrow knock. <laughs> okay, you have an arrow knock, so <laughs> you can take a shot. Um, and it's, uh, it's armor just... Wow, yummy. His armor class is 18. Uh, well, that's a hit. That's 25, and that will be 11 off. Uh, oh my goodness. What is it today with mandibles, man? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, the, <laughs> it's the day for bitey things. Been a bit crowded. Yeah. Oh, I was obviously yeah. on a he, he looks really surprised as well. You know, he's like, <laughs> "What the hell are you doing in my home, man?" <laughs> Story. Yeah, this is my okay. house. Uh, <laughs> what is he from Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> I see him like you want to go. What is that anyway? An ankeg. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. Um, initiative, please. Because uh, you know. Eight. Not like you can talk to these things. Six. Uh, eight. Six. Six. Aldric. Uh, seven again. Seven. Seems to be my favorite number. And Jadarian. Eight. Eight. Okay. He's got a six pack. <laughs> okay, Bellis and Jadarian. Jadarian, <laughs> you might as well go first. Okay, I shoot twice and then move back to the party, 30 foot. Yep. If I can. Uh, that is a 24 and a 22 to hit. And yep. That is a double 11. 22 damage. Okay, right. Uh, the thing is hit twice by the rapid flights of, uh, of your arrows uh, and you go back toward the party. It comes scuttling down the hallway toward you. The rest of you see it. And seconds later, you see another one. It scuttles out of the, uh, out of the same hall, up the wall, on the ceiling, and keeps pace with its companion down the hallway. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, Bellis. I uh, pray to the ghost mother and uh, uh, imbue uh, Aldrich with the strength stone. Okay, and give me a roll for that, please. Thank you. Don't take me yet. Plus three. Plus three. Okay, Aldrich gets another. You're back to 22 strength, so you can have so stats for that. Plus same one, same as, plus four, was it? Yep, same as before. Okay. Uh, right, so the creature's next, and at the same time as Shanta and Avel. Uh, okay, so um, both of them do the same thing, unfortunately, and we'll, I'll just do them first, and then uh, we'll do your, uh, your actions. It's all simultaneous. Um, Jadarian, the one that you injured, opens its jaws and emits an immense stream of acid that rushes out towards you, spatters all over your body. You can feel it burning into your clothes. And I'd like you to make a seven throw against poison, please. Oh dear, poison. Uh, oh, someone. God. So I've got to get over 13. The number are higher, yeah. Uh, 12. <laughs> God. Oh, dear. 12 to fail. Oh. No bueno. No bueno. You take 22 Hang points on. of damage. Oh, Paralyze Hang on. Paralyzation, poison, and death magic. Which adjustments am I using? Because uh, it's a stream of acid, you'll take. You'll uh, use your dexterity to dodge it. So is that direct? Uh, that's directed, directed then, yeah? Yes. Yeah. That'll be another plus two on that then, so I would have passed. <laughs> so you only take 11 damage. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, dear. <laughs> only. <laughs> I'm going to die. Yeah, great, it's the projectile vomit bugs. <laughs> Yay. 
The other one sprays at the first person, uh, the first person it sees as well, the one in the ceiling, and that is Aldrich. Similarly, saving throw against poison, please. Oh my goodness. Uh, I rolled a horrible, horrible four, but I am lucky. So, uh, can I re roll? Yeah, it's your one per day, re roll it. And that's Wise a 12 choice. plus, uh, <clears throat> plus two for directed, so that's 14. And it's against what? Against poison. Against poison. Um, so yes, I made it by one point. Hooray! <laughs> okay, you likewise, 11 damage puts you down to, uh, 23. 23. Okay, at the same time as this is happening, uh, Shanta and Avel are... Uh, I'm going to do my inspiration for the day. Okay. Do you have something inspiring yeah. to share with your, with the um, class? I suppose... Hold on a second. I do... <laughs> Completely okay. uninspired. All right, then. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I have to. I mean... I've been down in the dumps, but I did write a thing, and I guess I'm gonna, I don't know, say it now, and it might be inspiring, I don't know. <clears throat> so maybe Jade is better at fighting with his bow, but does he have my glorious hat? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is oddly inspiring. That's pretty uplifting. <laughs> Jay Darian fouls his save. <laughs> no tea. Uh, all right, everybody. It's a plus one to uh, to hit for five rounds. Goodness, nice. <laughs> okay, and um, uh, Shanta. I would like to cast sleep on these guys, if I may. I don't think. Will it work on them? Am I finding out? You can try it. Uh. How would I how would I try this? You just say I cast sleep. I cast sleep on these guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the energy of your sleep spell rushes out toward uh, toward the ankegs, and let me check quickly if they're affected. All right, roll me two d four, please. Okay. Uh, give me the d4. Please. There we go. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a. That's four. Four. Okay. So, um, one of them doesn't get a saving throw. Let's see. Let's just roll random. Which one is one to three? Is the one on the ceiling? One to three. Okay. So the one on the ceiling, the uninjured one, its legs curl up around it, and it falls. Bam! To the floor. It actually appears to have been put to sleep. The other one is nice. unaffected. Can we stab it in its face while it's dead? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone okay. just jabs. <laughs> right, and uh, that's it for the round. Okay. Wait. So, I didn't get a, a... Did you not get a go? Aww. Well, I don't like it. I didn't get a go. You're not, you're not having one. <laughs> um, okay, go ahead, Aldrich. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I'm going to use my uh, my newfound uh, strength to attack the uh, the one on the the injured one, the one that didn't yep. get sleeped. Um, okay. And I'm just going to go for it. Um, all right, the first one is a. Um, They're AC 18, if you recall. Yes. Uh, well, I definitely had AC 18. It's uh, 20, 26 to hit, and uh, it does. Sorry, hold on. Modified. Uh, does 16 points of damage. <laughs> you splat the thing all over the corridor. Just blat! Its head comes <laughs> off. Three of its legs fly sideways. <laughs> its carapace is mush. I mean, it's like, it's like stepping on a spider, really. Now stab the other one. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, if that's how easy they are to kill, I'm going to go gonna coup de grace the one that's, on the, that's sleeping. Well, I'm saying they're like, that's how my arrows break when you, like, you spend all the bodies everywhere because my arrows are so <laughs> stuck in them. <laughs> um, the... <laughs> the attack on the uh, the sleeping one is a... That only needs to hit armor class 16 because its belly is exposed. I hit armor class 31. Oh, uh, just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and, uh, Get in the bin. You did not. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> I have a plus 6 to hit. Uh, well, well, no, anyway. You need a plus uh, 6 to hit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
fighter <laughs> envy. It's not a pretty thing. <laughs> it's her spell. She did it. Um, and that does 13 points of damage. 13. This is to the uninjured. Uh, half strike, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just skewer it through the head if I can. Okay, yeah, I mean, you stab it solidly in its head. Um, unsurprisingly, it wakes up. Um, can I do my, my as a move action? Can I before uh, it gets a chance to get? It, I'm going to sit on its neck from behind and hold my half, to, just to use my body weight to okay. hold it down. Oh, Drek, right. I see you found a new mount. Right, <laughs> nice, uh, Bellis and Jadarian. I fire two arrows into its head. Okay. So I take it's still armor class sixteen, is it or? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, 27 and 22, and that is an 11 and a 6, so 17 damage. Nice. Okay, and that is all it takes. One arrow, another one, <laughs> and its central nervous system has been thoroughly pierced. The uh, Ankeg quivers once or twice and lies still. You're a little bit uh, scorched from the thing's digestive juices that they have so kindly shared with you through yeah. um, the medium of spitting. I the, get up and... The two uh, things are indeed dead. Pull you the... smell great, Aldrich. <laughs> Come here, give me, give me, your, give me a hug. Oh, I walk up to no, him. No, uh, no. Hug me, man. Uh, no, I, I just no, want a bro no, hug, no, man. No, bro no, hug. No, I, just, I just got this clean, you know. Just, uh. <laughs> oh, your hat is so pretty. Can I touch oh, it? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh -huh, you do that, I will cut your hand off. <laughs> You know, I actually believe you. Um, yes. I shall apply some battlefield healing on myself and Aldrich. Okay, Thank give you. me uh, rolls as needed for that, please. Um, one. That's f uh, two back on both of us. Two back on both of you. Okay. Um, I'll follow up with. Uh, <clears throat> Aldrich puts you on twenty-five. Yep. Uh, Jadarin, you're on ten. And a mm -hmm. cure light to who, Bellis? Both of them. To both, okay, and wow. so what's that now? Um, that is a five and a six. Who gets what? Um, you get the six. Um, okay. You get 31 five. and 15 for Jadarian. Cool, thank you. Is moving? there a way you could use something to get this acid off my armor before it eats any more holes in it? I use a, a clean cantrip. Yeah, also your successful saving throw means that your armor isn't uh, at any risk of being... Um, oh, okay. It's just a bit gross. Um, in the room, the reliquary that the Ankegs are tunneled into, the various holy items, statues, ceremonial staves, uh, candelabra, um, and whatnot. Avil, you think you're looking at about 800 gold pieces worth of loot there. Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up. Who's going to carry all this stuff? <laughs> You are. You're the strong guy. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't we have that orc? All right. uh, what's his name? Trollborn with us? Also? Targon, yeah. yeah He's going to be there... our like, carry guy. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, listen, listen, mate. If you carry all of our gold, you might die from exhaustion. Take it. <laughs> Very funny, Abel. <laughs> Next time you're going to fight some giant... Oh. 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 Oh, oh no! Next time I'm going to fight some giant what now? What? <laughs> <laughs> using using what? using lag to your advantage in a burn is not really fair. That was, uh, completely clear, and I don't know what it is you think I was saying. Sorry, I'm sorry. You have to speak clearly. Are you speaking in troll? It's perfectly Can't perfectly reasonable. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> is there any is there any bodies in here? Like, does it look like uh, any priests or something that could have been? No, um, the, the the items in the reliquary look as if they're, they've been here for, I mean, anything up to a century. You know, it, this place was abandoned on the eve of the uh, of the crusade itself. So they've been unattended here for quite some time. Whatever, you, whatever is going on in this place, uh, still, it's not to do with... Um, to do with that, okay. Yeah. Is anyone writing down party loot or? Someone I'm better because I ain't keeping track of your shit. Um. Yeah, I can. Okay. I'll do that. I'm looking around and just obviously looking down the hole. Can I hear any more coming? 
No. Okay. If there's a nest, it's uh, not close by. Okay, let's go. I'll head down the corridor to here. Okay. Okay, well, unsurprisingly, you see a uh, another short passageway in the door. I shall open the door. Another reliquary. This one. Mundane. Pancakes. <laughs> a fairly mundane collection of uh, faded and tattered old books, some crumbling scrolls. Like, literally, if you touch them, they start to fall apart. Um, holy, holy texts. I have, a, I, have a, I have a very good look at uh, what this is here and if there's anything salvageable, which is uh, worthwhile. <sighs> you think with time you could probably get one or two of the old books to safety? But literally, by carrying them around, they're going to disintegrate in your hands. Okay. So maybe uh, 250 gold pieces worth of stuff to the right kind of seller. Mm -hmm. uh, from a historical perspective, of course, it's yeah. uh, an in interesting insight into the true uh, religion of what the tieflings who are worshipping here. So. Um, one time someone tries to open a door, can it be like you tried to push, but it was a pull door? <laughs> <laughs> I really want that to happen in a dungeon. <laughs> um, what, what languages are the books in? Is it just common? Kashigarine. Oh. Is that common? No, it's the Kashigarine. Tiefling language. I speak that. Can I read that? As do I. I speak I've that. Got read languages. So have I. Yeah, you're. Uh, no, I've got read magic. Also, Kashigarine. Yeah, so those of you who speak Kashi Green can just read it. Uh, Abel, uh, yes, actually, um, your grasp of the tongue is sufficient for you to be able to decipher it. Uh, uh, once again, I leave a uh, small chalk mark on the wall to... Yeah. Uh... Gotcha. By the way, in the, in, the, in the tunnel leading south, before we turned th right here... Yeah. Um, what, what's, what's there? Because it looks like there's some kind of circular thing. Yeah. So, you going to go back and have a look? Yeah, real quick. Just just look down. Uh, even if I stand at the top of the corridor and just look down to see well, That's a long there. way down, so you need to actually go close enough to have a look at it. Because don't forget, each square is 20 foot. Oh, yeah, God. From, um, from the top of the corridor, you can make out it appears to be um, some kind of bass relief. What, we lost now? him again. Excuse me? Sorry again, Mark, we lost him. So, no, go, go ahead. A bass relief? Yeah, of uh, possibly one of the deities worshipped here at the temple. Okay. All right. Well, I'll leave it for now and and keep going with the with the rest. Uh, okay. Don't split up the group. Okay. Fine. No problem. That's, uh, that's good. <laughs> what? I mean, you're okay. Not wrong. Uh, if you if you're if you're if you're portraying that there's a cockatrice running towards me, then by all means, <laughs> I'm absolutely <laughs> leaving. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Around the uh, the next corner, you can see that uh, yeah, right there. It's like a, a little alcove and a door. It's a little alcove and a doorway. In the alcove, um, there is not a rancer, but you think a bardiche, some similar pole arm. The wood uh -huh. is badly corroded. The metal head is rusted. Uh, you think it was probably a guard post. Okay. So I'm, little, uh, I'm still looking for secret doors. So. Yeah, is this is this a guard? Uh, some an alcove as well up here? Yes, similar. Okay. You don't spot any secret doors, not along here. Well, as I'm leading, I'm constantly searching to so, say you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the, I the will go to the door and I will check if it's got pull or push on it. <laughs> and I, I will do the opposite just for chanter. All right. You, it's obviously a push door, but when you push it, no, no, God, it's a pull door. But damn it! <laughs> the pride of the inventors of this place cannot be reckoned with. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay, I will open it quietly okay. and slowly. All right. But I'll take about a year just to open it. 
I've got plenty of time, guys. I don't know about you. <laughs> are we? Uh, are you waiting for us to help you push it, or are you just? Uh... It's heavy. You just it? standing there posing. He tried pushing it. It's a pool door. Oh. Oh, okay. is it now? I will look around the corner. Whoa. Okay. What do your elven eyes see this time? It's. You're staring into the edge of what is almost certainly a chamber of some considerable size. Good and lord. Gleaming, shimmering in the center is a continually rising column of what appears to be green fire. Ooh, the green. Viridian flame itself. Cool. So it's pres presumably casting light down this entire corridor. Throughout the entire thing, yeah. yeah. And you get the impression, actually, that this is a much bigger chamber than you're seeing from just this position. I'm just going to wait for a bit and just listen to hear anything apart from the flame. You hear the flame itself, but as you, um, as you listen, it's almost as if the continual sort of <laughs> noise... You half fancy there's words in there. As if it's breath coming from an eternally sighing mouth. Oh no. And so forth and so on. Can we detect what language that's in? Is it an you ancient have, language? No idea. You've never heard anything like this before. Have I heard every, it? Every now... You cut out again. Every I'm now and that. It, might be, it, <laughs> it might be Elven. Shanta, you half fancy it's a demon tongue. Oh, does that... Can I understand it? Is it a demon tongue? Is it in, or angelic or? Because I can speak it's, celestial, abyssal, and infernal. It's like you you kind of half hear the word, and then you, oh, that's <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not. Jadarian, it's the same with you. That's absolutely elven. That's the elven word for. No, no, it isn't. It's as if it's morphing in and around languages, or shifting itself to your expectations, or trying to form meaning in a tongue you can understand. Right. I haven't like heard that, of any that... ancient languages like this, then. But at no point, no, at no point okay. does it actually form a meaningful word. It's a bit like that that thing that we that people have where they see faces and. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turn around to the group and I say, "Well, here's the flame. I can hear whispers in it. Keep your mind yeah, so can I. about you." Same here. It doesn't make any sense though, and I I speak many languages. You do? Yes. Oh. Oh, you're full of surprises. <laughs> I was one of the um, smartest at the circle. <laughs> what a terrifying thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um... There's also a doorway across the hall from where we are, right? Yeah. Yes. Once you once you get into the into the main hall, I'll give you a full understanding of the size of this place. Okay, I'll quietly walk out and across into this alcove here. I'm still keeping an eye out down here as much as I can and having to listen at this door. Okay. To the opposite alcove, yeah, you can see that it stretches off in this direction too. And you begin to see your first glimpses around the outer walls of what appear to be recesses cut into the walls and covered over with plaques. They look to be more recent constructions than the pyramid itself. So so wh where am I seeing this? I'm obviously standing here, yeah? You're seeing it along the outer walls here. I can't show you without them. Here. 
Oh, okay. And here. Yeah. Trying to be as aware as I can be. Yep. <clears throat> I will listen at this door, and if I don't hear anything, I'll open it quietly. Oh, the door opposite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, I'm standing here, so... Yeah, okay. Gotcha. My reveal thing isn't uh, working properly. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Appears to be a mural along the uh, the northern wall. And it's depicting what looks to be the burial of the god itself below the pyramid. You see the pyramid and then underneath it a figure lying in the earth. It's tall, powerfully built, but its head has three faces on it. Noticeably, there's none of the fire rising up out of its mouth through the pyramid. Just the god itself and the shape of the building, Can't and there's make... an inscription, and there's an inscription on the, around the mural itself in uh, some kind of ancient script. I, I I know ancient languages. Yeah, can I read it with my read languages? And read magic. Okay. Oh, Avel. Huh. It says. Bring the light of fire to see the truth. Okay. Bring... All right. Um... Guys, I have an announcement. Uh, you see this lovely scripture here? Wonderful decor. It says... Something bring, that I've just forgotten. Bring the light of fire to see the truth. Bring the light of fire to see the truth. Where do we bring it to? Heck if I know. It's very poetic, Sh though. Surely this whole place is lit by fire. What language is it? What language it's, is it? It's some, uh, you think it's a version of ancient Kashigari. Mm. Some kind of uh, old ancient Kashigari language. I have a look at uh, how it matches up with current Kashigari. It's undergone some considerable linguistic drift, but it's recognizable as the same language. Okay. Oh, freezing. Mm -hmm. It's choppier than normal today. Yeah, it uh, is. Yeah. yeah. Are there any torches nearby or anything like that? There are not, no. Okay. I will try something. Um... I will just point up and just almost like a, like a small flame will just appear on his finger and sort of just linger there, like just some, some fire. Okay, as soon as the fire comes into being, its illumination falls on the mural. And where the fire on the mural should be, now fire appears on the wall. And Jadarian, because you've been looking for it constantly, Ooh. You see, behind that part of the mural, there is a secret door. Ooh! Ah! Oh, that was uh, convenient. I'll well head done. over. I'll head over to the secret door then, and see mm -hmm. if I can see any uh, any way of opening it. You examine it. There is a, a low catch just hidden in the mural itself below the head of the buried god. I feel gently around it just to make sure there's nothing sharp or... Yeah, you're completely certain there's no traps. I will click it then. <laughs> okay. Counter this whole time has just been talking to the fire that's making random sounds that sound like words. <laughs> What? A pinky? Uh -huh. I could do a pinky. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't... 
What was that? No, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Can you stick to one language? What? Kill them all? All of them? Kill them all? Every <laughs> <laughs> now? Is this what I have to say to kill everyone? <laughs> As the door swings open, there's a you see a short passageway beyond and a spiral stairway leading upwards. Aha. Maybe time to leave your sign for Hagen. Yes. Mm. Uh, I, I will make sure that there's a uh, a chalk mark um, here. His eyes are clearly not as sharp as mine. Yeah. And I will leave one here. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I will step in just to have a look up the spiral staircase and have a listen if I can. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Basically you, vandalizing that, the place with my graffiti. That whispering noise is kind of obscuring uh, most of your perception. Do we head up now or do we search the rest of the place <laughs> first? <laughs> what, what did I miss? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> That's the just... stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just... <laughs> Good graffiti. Yes. Um, let's uh, let's see what's up these stairs then. Are we going yeah. there now, or should we check the rest of the place out first? Well, didn't he say that he, he that that we needed to go up? It was yeah. So he so he did. Yes. Yeah, so let's put it at the very top of the fire. Yeah. I say in my best voice imitation of um, Tarvo. Tarvo. Yeah, I don't need my brother doing that. Very well. I will slowly head up. Okay. You all going as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow behind like Aldrich or something. All right. I haven't seen any graves yet or anything, or any marked ones. Well, I mean, this is a pyramid. Don't they usually hive the grade sites? Hmm. They could, they okay. could be the stone slabs in the main room by the flame, for all we know. Yes. You know. They you follow the stairs up. Dust in the air. Mm -hmm. And emerge at the top of the stairwell in a hallway just behind a statue of a woman oh. holding a sword. I hate <laughs> statues after the last time. <laughs> At least Hagen's not here to touch him. Which one is it? Is it the third one or the second one? Which one? It's the second one with the, with the S above it. Ah, okay. Um, just... No sooner have you stepped out into the hallway than you hear the sound of stone creaking against stone. As further down the hallway, the furthest three of the statues step out of their alcoves <laughs> and turn their heads toward you. Oh, for uh, not today. At the same moment, from the other direction, where the number 12 is, there is a horrendous wash of cold. And this rolls into sight. Oh, my God. Billowing oh. out of the darkness towards you. Dad? Behind you, the secret it... door slams shut at the bottom of the stairs. You hear its echo roll up the stairwell. And whoever was last in the marching order, looking over your shoulder, you see there's no way to open it from the inside. Well. Right. The golems well. move towards you with mechanical steps. The undead form billows nearer, cold, rushing out, enveloping you. You are trapped in the Pyramid of the Viridian Flame. And we'll have to wait until next episode uh, to see how this encounter uh, ends. Oh, don't do this, man. <laughs> no. Is it a lich? Don't want to be. <laughs> I don't think it... I, I, I hope not. God, neither. <laughs> Maybe time to put on that blimmy mask, I think. 
Draw yeah, penises yeah. in my pyramid, would you? <laughs> I was... He did it. <laughs> I point at. Uh... I, I point at shot. <laughs> shot at and it was her idea. Right, you know. <laughs> to me, and I'm just like use mask to look like you, like. <laughs> oh, I've, got, I've got the mask on, by the way, and the robes already. Yeah, I've had mine on as well. I don't it's know if I made that. Well, we'll see if that comes in handy next episode. Oh, <laughs> yeah. crap. Thank you for playing, guys, and thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> uh, don't forget, it's Pantheon tomorrow and Hemlore after that. Follow us on our social medias. Um, join our Patreon. Mm -hmm. I think we lost oh, my again. Um, on on, <laughs> um, on top again. of that, thank you very much for all the bits that people have been donating, all the subs, etc., uh, etc. Et but yeah, what cheers, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. What was the Patreon <laughs> option? Well.